So, we are ready to go here. Umpire Price with the ball. Holds it aloft. And here we go. Start of the game here on Account Bay. And up they go. Gets out there. Turns around. Walunga gets it. Goes over quickly to Encounter Bay. Encounter Bay handballs back out. Comes out through here and goes out in the forward flank. Goes out wide. Needs to touch this one. Goes on to there. Ooh, and it goes over the boundary line. And I reckon she's untouched. Yeah. And of course be a recipient kick here to Walunga on their back flank. As the ball now comes in. Drives it in. Goes short. Finds his player there. And that one goes around quickly on to... Um, Juckers. Juckers. Juckers, yeah. yeah. So, turn around, picked up. Off they go. Cross the centre and head towards the club room's house. Goes out wide. Picks it all up out there. And goes over into the Wollonga player. Oh, that's a poor kick. Turned over. Crispin gets it. Drives off. Comes in forward. Ooh, oh, the took base dropped easy. that one, yeah. Just turned around. Picked up quickly. Straight away there by uh, um, Juckers again. He goes on, turns around, picks up, comes Eagle. inside. Yep, turns around, goes over quickly and finds Hoffman. Hoffman handballs again. Comes out wider still, goes over to Darcy Scott. Scott goes backwards, comes over there, goes over the top and bang, finds the chest of his player up in the forward flag. He looks around there, goes off quickly. That one there was Ryan Sherry. Haven't seen him for a while into it, comes forward up there. Counter Bay, under trouble here now, keeps it back in here. Goes off to Bulldog, Bulldog brings it out the back flank, goes over the top. Counter Bay gets their fist into there in Mitchell Davis and she goes over the boundary line for a throw in right in front of this ball. Yeah, a bit, club. bit of lackadaisical effort there from Sweet. Really, wasn't it? Yeah. He, he should have grabbed hold of that and uh, they might have been away the other way. Anyway, the umpire throws it in down there. Off hands it goes. Lippert's got hold of it now. Just got rid of it. Or well, did he get rid of it? But anyway, the umpire said he did. Ball's just about to go out of bounds. Milling around down there and umpire Price comes in and says I'll throw it up. Price has got the hat on, Rice hasn't. Up it goes again. Cross it goes. T almost taken out of the ruck there by Walunga. The ball should be kept in. It is kept in down there and it goes over there to Darcy Scott again. Scott gets it across the ground. Kicks it over there to his teammate. The ball now is in the centre. Coming across and Tyson and that Neal. is Tyson Neal. Got up reasonably high over the back of his uh, opponent there and took a good mark. Some player will tell him to play on here. He does. And he does. That's, that's not a bad kick from Tyson lately, but he can kick a lot further than that, I think, when he really wants to. And the free kick has been paid here to Wollonga. So Wollonga got the free kick on the far side of the ground and the teammate marked it down there and the Scott. teammate with the thing is Scott a dick again. And there's a little kick in here and all out in front. I reckon that's Hoffman. Tyson Hoffman. Hoffman's got hold of it. Puts it on the boot. That's a long kick in and they're out in front down there and the backline player for Encounter Bay there in number 15, Ambrose Willoughby, and makes you fall back. And this will see how he's going. He's, he's been doing okay this year and it's uh, this is his big test today in full back. Little Ricey, the bound umpire, throws it in. Ball's on the ground. Quick kick out of the pack by the counter bay. Under the ball out there, it was taken there by James Brown. And he kicks it further down over. Over it goes, and there's a heap of Wollonga players down there. The counter bay must have them all up the other end, defending. And that's not going to work. You've got to score in there, this game to, to win it. And there goes Lippert through. Ball bounces nicely for Oh, that's got to be an effort. Oh, they missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the ball goes down the ground, marked by Wolunga. Over the header that goes. Here's, here's another chance for Encounter Bay to get it out. He tries to get it out. Can't, and that was Mitchell Davis that made the effort there. And here's a hand pass goes out there to Pat McInerney. And McInerney's well kick doesn't Crispin, really yeah. go anywhere. Crispin's... Sometimes he runs too fast for himself, I think, Trev. He doesn't steady himself when he goes to kick it. But anyway, this goes across the ground now. It's over the club room side. And it's gone across the boundary line and out of bounds. Well, we've been playing here for five minutes and not a score, Trev. Certainly not. Right across in front of the club rooms it is. Centre wing. Up it goes. There it goes. Up, up there. No Ruckman really gets out. Mills for Wollonga got probably more than Allen did. 
and who turns around and goes up and umpire. Price comes in for a ball up. Still on that wing position. Up they go. He goes up there. Mills gets it down this time. Lippert gets it for encounter bay. He gets wrapped up. He gets thrown down. And he turns around and will be a repeat by the umpire. Sits over there. Nice crowd here. It's not over excessive, but it's pretty good. So it goes up to it. Up and down it comes. Malunga tried to get out. Allen gets up. Goes mm. up and down. Comes back into his hands. He tries mm. to get a kick and can't. Umpires let it go. Comes all up there. Counter Bay with the run of the ball. Comes out quickly. Crispin, I reckon, was there. It was yep. 21 with it. Yep. Goes off that back flank. Oh, goes forward. Again. Counter Bay. Finally get a kick forward. Up they go. But it's all Malunga in the back line. They've got themselves set up. Out they come. Comes around onto here. Over it comes there and then. Quickly picks up, drives it off close, goes out there, comes out there, Bulldog crashes out, loses a Bulldog. Goes up, goes around, Wollonga, go in the forward attack, out they come. Jake Stanville tries to take one hand, can't get it. Wollonga gets a boot to it during the tackle, turns around, steps around, goes off and encounter bay, repel it and go forward again. Up they go, in front and that's a strong mark to Wollonga there. And gets up there and that one goes around there to Lachlan Scott. He goes off short, finds it over in the back flank there. Goes off forward, goes out too far, miles over the head there of Ryan Sherry. And he turns around, goes off into the pocket. The in million. There, Bass yeah. tries to get into it. He's a ruckman for Wollonga and he turns around. And Rice comes in for a ball up on that forward pocket for Wollonga. Still no score here at the moment. Goes on. Bass gets it out for Wollonga, puts us all over. Goes up quickly to uh, to Wollonga. Goes out there. Oh, Bulldog, he drops on. that one out the back in a counter bay turn around. Rushed it straight through. So there's the first score on the FBA scoreboard. Wollonga, one point to encounter bay yet to score. Probably should have been a mark anyway. The ball's kicked in, goes over towards Crispin. But he's there by himself. Takes a mark on his chest. Down the ground it goes. Almost a one hander down there taken by the encounter bay player in Bradley Kruger and the boundary umpire there has got a hot foot it down the ground and go and pick it up. Ball's out of bounds. It's out of bounds on the far side of the ground. In it goes. Good high throw in there by the boundary umpire. Lippert had hold of it then. They had hold of him too. On the ground it goes. And Wollonga now got hold of the ball. Down the ground it goes and the mark has been taken there by Alters. Alters fits it in and he's got his teammate over there in Liam Nye and Nye kicks it down and this will go right into the full forward area down there, waiting under it down there yeah, was the took player the second there lot, from didn't he? Wollonga. He did make it look a bit hard. I reckon that Sherry. might be Sherry. Ryan Sherry, number 48 it is. Yeah. And this will probably be the first goal I reckon, Trev. I would say so. Yeah. Pity our poor mate Nifty's not with us, Kevy, because we got his 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 mate out there, and Sammy Alexopoulos is playing. <laughs> so Wollonga do have a couple out, but uh, ably replaced by Alexopoulos or Alexopoulos. Alexopoulos. <laughs> anyway, Sherry with yeah. the win. Oh, Ooh, the back. wind brought it back. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Sherry's. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. They got they got a full forward down there, but uh, he hasn't been around that long, and that is well, number eight. Isn't it? Yeah, it up doesn't it matter anyway. Ball goes up, Malunga get it out of the centre. Down it goes to the play. He's grabbed hold off, says the umpire, and the Malunga get a free kick and here's another one here this is a mark though this time Warmington oh Warren. Warmington and he decides to play on quickly no one's guarding Haskett at all I think that's Haskett it's got yep. to be doesn't it number eight yep certainly is and the base fell right out there right from the start of the throw mm. up there was nobody they weren't manned up in their back lines no. so they were caught out badly on that that time of course pressure's in there well I have got it again probably not, not used to playing in that spot I think yeah. but anyway 
This could be another goal very quickly, yep. and that has gone off the side of Haskett's boot across the point line, and that is a point there to Wollonga. And Wollonga now go to one goal two in Counter Bay yet to score. In they come. And the time comes back in, he goes out there. Bulldog gets up and he got sticky fingers on that one. And drop the easy one in the pocket to put him under pressure, but he's a back flank now and he's a scoreboard side. Drives up now, goes off and he's kicked that one out on the full. So it'll be a return kick to Wollonga, right in front of the scoreboard here at the Bay Oval. Turn around. Goes back into there. So big Matthew Allen's for the Bay standing on the mark. He's taken over the role of Big Ruckman. He's getting, getting his time before he has to kick it and goes off. And out comes the uh, Jake Stanfield this time. For Willunga. Drives off, plays off into it. Goes off right up into the pocket. Bit of a dead pocket goes up. Over now, nearly a grab by Willunga out there. Picks all across. Sherry goes, that's... <laughs> we saw that's a hand the pass. Umpire, couldn't <laughs> it was like the old flick, double <laughs> flick up there that time. But the Bays are battling away in there. Wollonga picks it all up, Sherry gets it again for Wollonga, goes off there into the centre, and that's too, too easy, and Big Bass comes out for Wollonga and, uh, and takes on his uh, stomach. Wasn't on the chest. Well, this doesn't look too good to start with, does it? I no. Mean, you know, it's got, it's got to get better for Encounter Bay, you'd think, because at the moment, the, well, they the just other, don't even look like getting in their forward line. Well, the only other way is going to get a lot worse, isn't it? Yes. So... Bass comes in, drives all up, shouldn't have any problems. Umpire comes back and says, bingo, there goes. We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Darker so. in the forward line, yeah, it? yeah, running yeah. around and getting, and of course, his brother in the back line, too. So, anyway, back in the center, umpire Price has got the ball up. She goes, Bass takes it out the air, gets away, handballs it out. As it comes through, quickly picked up by Wollonga, goes forward out there, tacking one out there, goes into Tonkin, but he can't pick it all up. Stanfield gets the ball out, up and under goes Wollonga, up they go wide and handsome. The umpire runs back to signal a minor score. So another one to Wollonga. They're doing all the attacking. They now go to two goals, three on the FBX scoreboard. And in Counter Bay, still nothing. Still nothing and don't even look like it yet. No. But anyway, let's hope that they can get the ball out and make a bit of a game of this because at the moment it doesn't look like happening. Now they're wasting time. I mean, Crispin could have kicked that in, but they waste time for he to give it to somebody else to kick in. Yeah, well, Amish Tonkin normally does it, so he shouldn't really have been back for it. I reckon that might have been one of the Krugers that had gone back and got that one. Kicks it in, the ball's been marked there uh, by Andrew Fife. So Fife's got hold of it from Counter Bay on the half back flank. Puts the ball up high. There's plenty of big fellas there for Wollonga. Put their hands up, take the mark. And that is Billy Cook. Billy Cook kicks, in, kicks the ball in, and that is marked by Matthew or Maddock Williams. Goes in with a counter bow player, went in, all, almost had hold of it there, didn't complete the ball, didn't complete the mark. I think they can get the free kick here. They will get the free kick. And going back to take the kick is Ambrose Willoughby. This is the full back. He kicks it over, and it's gone over there. Bulldog. To Bulldog. Bulldog again got it on the half back line. He kicks it in, sure, the play out there is Lippert. Lippert's got hold of it, takes a little kick in. Oh, just as well he was a bit taller, wasn't he? <laughs> and that's Lockwood Costello. Costello. And Costello kicks it across the ground. He goes up into the breeze and almost stopped. Comes down. Malunga pick it up. They kick it over that far side of the ground. And going out there in Counter Bay, had hold of it. The ball's on the ground, then it's gone over to Wollonga now. Wollonga can hold oh, it. Oh, he's down gone. You've got to go for holding the ball. I reckon he's gone, and the player there that had the ball was Braden Aldis, and the free kick goes to Encounter Bay. Yeah, he never made an attempt at anything, did he? Out to Lippert. Lippert kicks it in short, kicks it over there, finds his mark over there, 
And that is Brown. Brown. Yep. Brown now has got a little one here and he kicks it back to Leopard. I don't know what they're doing here. Trying waxy, to, waxy trying these to two. Build, their, build their numbers up. Oh, that's yeah. close to the back. Could right? have been close to in the back one by Let's Play Go On. Be taken down there by Wailunga. Ball's come in. This is a bit better effort at the moment by Encounter Bay and it went over there to Pettit. But Pettit's kicks gone astray and coming out the mark has been taken by Stanfield. Wailunga. And down the ground it goes too high for Crispin to mark. Comes out there short and this is the younger player's got hold of it there puts it in and over it goes there to walk in number eight in brad haskett haskett puts it down there and the royal family hotel in the main street of port elliott prides itself on having a family atmosphere the dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week offering great food specials and friendly service enjoy why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, one of the best beer gardens on the south coast. There's traditional pub style accommodation available and a drive through sip and save outlet. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. Yeah. Yeah, big fella, have a look at the size yeah. of them down there. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 All yeah six they, foot four. Yeah. Both, both of them will love it because Haskett likes to run around yeah. so Bass is the ruckman in there, they've got uh, mills in the ruck now so they're certainly getting themselves you know their height to pick everything up and uh, yeah and like I said the bays are sort of just not that tight group in the back here and uh, yeah they're, they're shuffling things around now trying to pick up players to get to it right so back in the center here with umpire price again up she goes turns around up it goes down mills gets it out for Wollonga pushes all down tries to tap it all out can't Tyson Neal gets it, he handles off, goes over to Crispin, Crispin goes round to Lippert, Lippert goes forward, here's the first time deep into her encounter bay, right up into there, turns around, the handball comes out quick there to Wanga, bounces, out he comes again, turns around, looks, he looks to look it up over there, goes quickly over the off, Sherry comes out for it, flicks the ball back inside, turns around, goes up, he overruns it, picks it all up, Bulldog misses the target, goes back in, comes all up. Here they go. Here's a goal. Turns around, mm -hmm. picks it all up, goes mm -hmm. all off. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Too much there. Too many mistakes under pressure by the fellas. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power, great service, it keeps you coming back. Get the power, Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Get the power. Yeah, four goals, three at the moment to Wollonga. No score to Encounter Bay. And I think we could be saying that for the rest of this quarter. Yeah, yeah it's not looking good, is it? 18 minutes gone in the first quarter. You know, that's got underway well at Stratham Our Compass. We've got a score already, so I presume it's not a half time, a quarter time, but I don't know. Back in the centre she goes, up the ruckman goes, turns around, counter bay, try to get it out through there, and that one then was Bradley Kruger, so he's got a bit of height with his rucking, Kevy, so one of the Krugers has got some height. He's back in again, and so it looks like a blood rule, and it's going to the grandson, Kevy. Yeah. Lippet's gone off, so. His grandmother will be out putting some ointment on him. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Doesn't keep bleeding. <laughs> yeah, so he goes off. Looks like he's probably on the uh, on the knee, I reckon. Anyway, repeat goes up. Mills tries to get it out for Wollonga. Goes over. Picks up by Encounter Bay. Hamble goes out. Goes and finds a spot quickly out there. And Lachlan Costello. Costello goes forward. And it's marked in defence there by Wollonga once again. Now they break. This is where they've been opening the bays up. Quickly on the back flank. Handball's back over with the running player coming through. He kicks in, goes all up, goes too far for Hoffman. Bulldog picks the ball up. Can't, Tonkin gets it, sorry, gets the ball up. He gets slammed to the ground by Aldous. And the umpire comes in for the ball up on the wing on the scoreboard side. Up she goes. Mills gets it down for Wollonga. Goes out wide, quickly. Bays can't recover it again. Picked all up there. He gets it, turns around, tucks in and... The umpire quickly calls it up for another bounce. 
Up she goes in the air, gets up there. Mills taps it out once again. Comes back over quickly around there. Goes to Jukas. Jukas put his, puts it up. Goes over, finds his player quickly oh, down to Irvine. Yeah. Irvine goes. Here yeah, they go. Of Opening them all up. Yeah. Alexopoulos comes yeah. through from the back lines. Goes all up. There's Bass. He will eat this. He loves it. Three too, on to one then. <laughs> well, it, it, it's too big a body for the, the yeah. white players and he just positions it and... Uh, if it's above his eyes, he'll grab it, and he certainly has. Take three of them to move him, wouldn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah, they wouldn't. <laughs> He's a yeah, strong they, player. Yeah, yeah. As I said, so it's it's made for their three, you know, tall forwards here for uh, this side. So they come up pretty good. In he comes, yeah. drives this ball up. Umpire looks good, stays out the same, goes through, comes back, and indicates there she. Is. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies have over 40 years experience in mining and blending soils and organics. We're specialists in turf soils, landscaping and organic blends. Customised washed sands for horse arenas, sports grounds and building sands. We also have a large range of decorative stones, gravels, mulches and pine barks. From car trailers to all truckloads, wholesale quarry direct. Mount Compass Quarry and Landscape Supplies, 86 Sandmine Road, Mount Compass. Open Monday to Friday, 7am to 4pm at Saturday, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Phone 8556-8421. Good on you. I said to him earlier that if your mum brought him back a bit later on that we'd show him the, uh, the equipment in here. And, uh, yeah, so you just come down a quick look. Ball back in the centre. Umpire Price. Whoa, we put the knee up then. And did he you, what? You can't do yeah, that. Yeah, and he thinks he wants it. Yeah. <laughs> well, would you get the free kick for kneeing someone in the guts? I mean, like, come on. <laughs> anyway. In the centre, here's, here's, here's a chance there. Marketing taken by in care of the bay there by Lachlan Costello. Costello's got it. Kicks it in short. And it's out over here now to... That's um, Corey Gamble, but he's too far out to kick anything from there. Cross it went to, after that to Pettit. But Pettit's too far out. Here's a chance out there, and I reckon that... Out the full, down by Signet. Yes, out on the full. So, care bay had all this... All the um, sc scoring area to aim at and kick it the other side of the point post. <coughs> well, Unger will bring the ball back in. Down there, a little kick gets kicked the player here deep in the pocket. Takes the mark, plays on around the boundary line and uh, over it goes. Back of the pack. Oh, that was a good mark. <laughs> he didn't even know he had that one. Scott. <laughs> that was uh, Scott Darcy Scott. And down it comes the other end now very quickly out there. Almost a... One hand to take him out here by Tonkin. Up goes the ball now. The big fellas will come through for for uh, Malunga. Oh, we oh, just, just went like there. That was um, 36 oh, wasn't it? and Juckers again. And in it goes and uh, just finds another big chest down there to put Haskett, it on. Isn't it? Probably Haskett. Yeah, I reckon it is. And Haskett could end up with a cricket score today down there. He's got... Um, He's only got one at the moment. Well, he no, hasn't got any at the point. moment. It's only a point. Yeah, yeah. missed it. But he'll, he'll have a goal soon, probably in about another 10 seconds if he comes in to put this one through. In it goes, and that one is straight over the umpire's head, and that is Brad Haskett's first... <laughs>
quickly goes back over there. That's Brett Meagle for Wollonga. He gets the ball, turns around, gets it to his play. They go up and down, back where the ball comes. Tyson Neal goes up, can't get it. Uh, Pettit, Pettit gets it again, goes forward and he kicks it over. They're just bombing it in and giving their forwards no hope whatsoever, straight on the chest of Wollonga. So Wollonga on the back flank again, clubber inside, goes off, goes inside. That goes over Tonkin. and there's Tonkin. So Tonkin for Encounter Bay. Hamish Tonkin this time, goes off, short kicks again, goes out, finds his player right on the boundary line there, that's Kruger, Kruger goes over, turns around, Tyson Neal, spins around, goes off, comes inside, finds his player in Bulldog, he's moved up, you can see this here, there's only two players in the Wollonga forward line, that's how much they're going, that's not going to help the Bays anyway either, oh, he comes up, yeah. drops it off mm -hmm. his chest, the Bay player, goes off, handballs back quickly, goes around there and quickly do Gould, Gould goes forward, up and down it goes, off hands, and goes over the boundary line in the forward pocket for a, a throw in by the boundary umpire. Yeah, some of these players are a bit overawed, I think, at the moment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hitting them on the chest and bouncing off. You can see now the way they set up. So the Bay's players have all pushed up. Uh, Wollonga have gone forward because they're there, but they don't need to because if they get the ball and burn it out with their run, they'll, they'll split them over into the back lines again. They'll run it straight down the ground. Yep. Up it goes, down it comes, nobody really gets it. Matthew Allen tries to get in there, he can't get it out and it'll be another ball up by umpire Price. Just as well, they didn't kick too many goals in the first 10 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> up they go. Bass gets it, goes out, Alexopoulos gets it, handballs off quickly, goes round the back pocket, goes back again, dodge, weaves, goes round, breaks the tackle, miles too easy. Up they go, Stanfield goes up, Bulldog gets it from the back for the Bays. Goes over too far. Here it goes. Here comes Wollonga. Look at this. Split yep. them all over. Jake Stanfield inside. Finds it. Down they go. Out they go. Here comes the handball. He misses it though. But Three back up. up. No <laughs> problems at all. Comes back around quickly off there to Wollonga and uh, goes off and into the forward pocket. They go. Breaks away quickly. Drives off into the forward all lines. Up they Priscilla. go. Body on body. He turns around. Haskett oh. can't get it out. He's doing Tries well. He's hanging on to him. Yep. <laughs> he's through a hand back. Handball comes back. Series back again over to Wollonga. That's a bad kill. Off hands. Hits the ground. Bull, uh, Tonkin gets it. Turns around. Comes out. Over the head throw there. Goes out onto it. And there's stacks on the mills around here now. And Counter Bay get it and kick it out. And go. Crispin's got the height. He's grabbing. Good body work and he used it. Crispin from Counter Bay on the back flank. So over the wide side here. Turns around, he must be getting close to time. Turns around, kicks oh. up, and he finds his player quickly out here and goes around to James Brown. Counter Bay now, having short kicks, trying to control this ball. They worked hard to get that out of there. Comes out now, up it goes, turns around, Kruger goes up, he gets taken down high and he does. Umpire picks it all up and it's a free to a Kruger. He gets up. This is the young up Kruger, on. I think. Yep. Uh, Bradley, Bradley Kruger goes forward, goes up, and that's an easy mark to Wollonga out there. And that goes around to Darcy Oh, yeah, you can't let him do that. He, he got the ball and threw it away and went and picked it up and played on. Played on, yeah. <laughs> yeah they can't, you've got to pick them. You've still got to go behind your mark, yeah. don't you? So in the line-up, but uh, yeah, so. I reckon that's anyway, the siren. lines up. The siren has gone here at the Encounter Bay in the first quarter, and it's been all Wollonga. So now um, the FPA scoreboard goes to six goals three to encounter by a zero. Goal scorers Daniel Bass for two, Brad Haskett one, Miles Warmington one, and Ryan Sherry with two. So this is 90.1 Happy FM is great Southern footy on air and YouTube. We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour.
The Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. The dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Enjoy. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, one of the best beer gardens on the south coast. There's traditional pub style accommodation available and a drive through sip and save outlet. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. Thank you very much there Ian. We can give you scores from around the ground. So Thanks to Terry Corcoran. Yep, yeah, he's worked hard. He realised we had trouble last, well, the last, up to first year every round, haven't we? So yeah. anyway, round seven of the Great Southern Football League over at Yankalilla. Yankalilla 2-3. The visitors, Langhorn Creek, one goal, two. So that's uh, showing a bit of surprise there at this stage. My Ponga Selix at home are 5 6 to Goolwa Port Elliot, one point. Uh, McLaren are 3 4 to Victor Harbour, the visitors, at two points. And the score we have for the Strath Mount Compass, we've had it for some time, is Mount Compass 2 1 to Strath Alban, 1 4. So we can only presume we've had that one for a fair while. So they must have got underway early there or. Uh, they, uh, you know, it wasn't a quarter time break, but uh, so that's it. And of course, here at uh, Encounter Bay, it's all Wollonga. The visitors six three to Encounter Bay yet to score. So there are some low scores there uh, being run over, and uh, be interesting by half time to see whether they come up on things. So to go, but uh, yeah, Trev, when we knew that, well. Where, where we had to make a decision on where to go this week. Oh, yeah. This should have been the game of the day, but uh, yeah, six of uh, Encounter Bay's best players are either injured or unavailable today for various reasons. And really, I mean, this is, this is going to be the probably the biggest difference, I reckon, of any of them. Yeah, the way that's exactly are going. right. Yeah. Well, Unger have obviously got some out too, but the, I think they've, you know, the, the ones they've brought in are certainly class players and... Uh, are fitting a lot better what the Bays are trying to shake. Oh, I mean, to. yeah, they brought back um, our, our, our mate there. <laughs> Alexopoulos. Alexopoulos, yep. yeah. Yep. So, I mean, he's he, he's back back in the side. I mean, he's he's a class player. He's yeah, association well, right. football. Yeah, yeah, and then you got Ryan Sherry. He's mm. back. Well, he never played last week, so he's back in. I don't know. If, he, he didn't play the first game, I think. But, uh, yeah, so, no, they've certainly got some class ones back into there. So, you know, they've they've, re they've covered their losses better than what the Bays have. The Bays haven't covered them at all. No. So, uh, but, like I said, it's looking at the format when we, uh, yeah, going around it, we thought this would be a good one, but who knows with COVID and et cetera it goes. So, People say, um, why the hell did you do this when yeah. you have two teams that were almost right next to each other on the premiership list. Yeah, well, that's right. Like I said, they were second and third. Yeah. E equal games, anyway. Goes all up, and there's the Bay. Comes up and down, was attacked there. Bay's tried to get out of it when they got tackled and got caught for holding the ball. So, comes back out here once again to Danny Irvine for Wollonga. Plays on, drives it deep into attack. Up they go. Hand can counter Bay. Comes out, turns around. He gets tackled in turn. Comes out, misses Bulldog. Handball goes over quickly there to um, James Brown. He gets it off and counter Bay now go forward and they finish up on the flank up there and goes over to them. Free kick to Bays. 
pick the ball up. Over they go up there. Turns around. Can't get the ball coming up there. Recovers well. He's going to throw. Yep. Throw up there and it's a free kick to Encounter Bay. Comes up here and it comes around out here to Wade Sweetman. Yeah, you have to make up for a couple of things that he did with the goal here. That'll bring him about square then, won't it? Oh, get him back in the, get get him back in the, the good books. books. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Interesting to say that's been the score and end. Drives oh, off. It's God. not good, but I think well, he got away work. with that one. It's going to work. I turn around, the umpire goes bingo. We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. And back in the centre, the umpire Price throws it up. Wollongoo's up the knock then, and it uh, looks like uh, Wollongoo going to get the ball. Play on, says the umpire out there, and Wollonga have got the chance now to get it right down into their scoring area down there. They will. And, Sherry. And this is Sherry, and Sherry can just about put it through from there. He doesn't think he can, so he kicks it in short. Here's a player coming down there. Yeah, Hoffman. There we go. That is Hoffman. And oh, Hoffman's good kicking. stretch and grab by That's Allen, a, Matthew Allen. That's a good mark, Matthew Allen. He's got to come good now, doesn't he? He's the only big man out there. And he's got the mark, kicks it in, over the goes there. Bulldog. To Bulldog. Bulldog now. He's, he can hold it up. Holds it up for a short time. Kicks it in and it's gone in now. The counterbait. Take the mark down there through Mitchell Davis. And Davis down into the forward line again. Oh, almost a one hander taken down there by Tyson Neal. Couldn't complete it though. Going back into the game, it is uh, Aaron Gould that's got it. Gould tries to get it out. There's a lot of players around the ball. In the back says the umpire. And in Counter Bay now we'll get a shot. He's a long way out though. Oh, yeah, Tyson's a long way out. Tyson, uh, too far for Tyson, I would think. A couple of years ago, he would have had a go at this. A bit older now, their legs are a bit bit older as well. Can't kick as far, and here's a chance for Mitchell Davis to have a go. And he's not going to be that much closer either. No, he, only a he, couple, he'll, he'll he? kick this from 50. So it'll have to be a good kick. You've got the big tall fellas in the goal there, so it'll have to go right through. In it comes. It's a little bit too close to the man on the mark and has to kick it too high. Into the forward line it goes. Nearly a mark taken down there, but the ball comes away Scott. down there through Scott. Picked up again by Counter Bay. They kick Gold. it back in again. Didn't look where he kicked it. And it goes straight back there to um, was it 48. Was it? It wasn't Sherry anyway, it doesn't matter. And Malunga now, they can go down the far side of the oval with it. And that was a good pass, straight into the fence. <laughs> I don't think he meant that. That was by well Jukers. That was Jukers. He couldn't have kicked it straight into the fence if he tried any better. Now, Gould, Gould there, that wasn't Gould, it Bulldog. was Bulldog with it. Now he kicks it back along the boundary line. It's going to be hard from here. And the umpire is going to say throw it in. It's going about over the boundary line. Here's the tall boundary umpire. <laughs> He's about six foot and the other one's about four. Anyway, the umpire throws it in. In it goes. Lippert's got hold of it out there. They've got hold of him. And umpire Rice says, give it to me. Yeah. Anyway, up they go again. Oh, the counter bay Ruckman knocked it straight down to a, one of his teammates and he had three yeah, Malunga players all around him. And the umpire will throw it up again. Counter Bay kicking down there towards the hill end or the netball court end here at the, the Counter Bay Oval. And Lippert gets up again. He saw, <laughs> a bit so, sore and sorry for himself after the game last week. I think he'd be the same this week at the moment, the way things are going. Ball's on the ground now. The umpire will throw it up once more. There's only been one score so far this quarter. 
And that was a down of those. A goal. Out of the pack it goes now. This will be, won't be long enough for a mark. Oh, that was a that was, that was pretty short, wasn't it? <laughs> He's got it. Kicks it into the forward line. Coming out here. Player there, Tyson Neal. Could have maybe got that one. He was between two players when he tried to do it. And here's a chance now for Malunga to pick it up. There's two of them out there. In the high. Back, says the, yeah, no, the umpire. Contact high with the leg. In the 15, is it? That's got up right there. Anyway, here's a chance. Down, down it goes now to, to um, Stanfield. Stanfield's got it. Just jogs down and hand passes it across to Jerkus and Duckers gets it over to his teammate there in Scott and the ball will be kicked right into the Malunga's forward line down there except the boundary umpire gets in the way and calls it out of bounds Drew. Certainly is. Five got his hand into that one and she's a, a boundary throw in in the forward pocket for Malunga this time. Uh, yet to score this quarter, but the Bays haven't really hurt him. So up it goes, and it was short, picked out of the air by Sherry. Sherry goes over, the Bays have got the run on here, two on one. Turns around, picks up there quickly there, and that was Johnson. He goes off, puts the ball up in the forward flank here, goes up, pushes out there. Counter Bay try to pick it up, breakthrough, turns around, tries to make an attempt at it. And he turns around and be a ball up on the forward flank for Walunga. Slightly favouring the uh, club room side there. Up she goes, turns round, comes back out. Lip it now, gets a run, overruns it, turns round, picks it up. Bays pick it all up. Handball comes out, Brown gets it, pushes it all out, gets it all out onto it, comes up quickly, goes out to lip it again. He gets a handball, goes out, goes out to Crispin. Crispin turns round quickly, puts the ball up for encounter bay, and that's a good mark. Encounter bay running against the flight and takes it over his chest. Gets up quickly, goes forward, oh, no, poor sweet. low kick and goes in, easily intercepted by yeah, there was no one else there. in Darcy <laughs> Scott. Scott comes out here, finds his player out wide, McDonald. McDonald with the ball now, he drives it all up, goes off, he finds his player in Hoffman. Hoffman goes over, steps inside, kicks it down low, counter bay, get the run, overstep it, two on one, got away with it, kicks it all up, comes back, in it comes there and Vermeulen, I reckon it was. Turns around, oh, gets over there, there goes off into there quickly, picked up into there, comes around there into the bays and Johnson trying to get it and Walunga split it open, go across. They've got three here. Mills picks it up, goes across over quickly, goes over there to um, Meagle. Meagle gets the balls up, goes forward and they're up on the forward flank. Picks all up quickly, goes onto there, out they go quickly, going down there, Ryan Sherry, puts it all up to the bays, picked it all up, goes back to Bulldog. Bulldog, back flank, goes to club room side, turns around, finds up, and he finds his player quickly out there. And that one goes around to uh, Corey Gamble. Gamble goes in and finds Lippert. Lippert goes forward now for the base, puts the ball up in the flank, off the hands it comes, and over the back, she goes over the boundary line on the forward flank for Encounter Bay. Not much scoring going on. The FBA scoreboard is uh, on six for Encounter Bay and one straight goal. Mm. 15 minutes into the quarter, and there's only been one goal scored, at least they've slowed that up, there's nothing else. Chance now from Counter Bay to try and pick it up, Pettit tried to pick it up, he couldn't pick it up, Walunga jumping on him out there, and the free kick will go to Counter Bay, and they play on quickly with it, he's going back. Nearly ran into, into him, didn't he? Yeah, he nearly made a, one real big mistake there. Here's a chance now for... The Bays to get the ball right into their forward line down there. They got it. <laughs> I think goal. he might have held the player out. The Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. The dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Enjoy. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, one of the best beer gardens on the south coast. There's traditional pub style accommodation available and a drive through sip and save outlet. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. They can get in onto it. And uh, turn around, comes out into here now. You probably won't see. Mm -hmm. Oh, he does, Kevin, so you're right. Yep. So there, the your man at the moment at half time, but it goes up. Ball goes up and down, comes out through the centre. Socket off the ground by uh, Haskett. 
Haskett from Willunga goes forward. Counter Bay, try and repel it. T Lippet picks it all up, flicks it out wide, goes out, forearm goes up, Crispin misses it again, goes over, turns around up the forward line, and Bulldog once again reliable in the back line. Handballs for the Bays, comes over, comes back to the Bays. They go forward now to the wing, up they go, over the back, bit too far for him. Goes up, Wollonga trying to get control. Counter Bay picked up it there. Costello tries to get it, turns around, he gets wrapped up, snaps on the mills there. He turns around, umpire Rice comes in for a ball up. True wing position right in front of the clubrooms. Up she goes. Ruckman wrap up, goes over. Crispin throws it back out. Comes back to the Ruckman. He rolls up and they go down. They're going to have to repeat it in the same place. So he sets himself there now. Umpire Matthew Allen puts it back to Rice. He's the umpire. Up she goes, battle up, turn around. Allen gets it this time. Lippert rolls on top of it. He gets wrapped all up and turns around. Tell you what, his strapping on that shoulder never stays, Kevy. Every no, week we see why. him, it comes up. Don't know why he bothers. <laughs> so up it goes. Well, he's had an op, so you can understand it. Lippert now goes and, oh, put his hands down. Yep. And he turned around, kicking in danger. Yep. Almost had his hands on them when uh, they got kicked out of his hands. There. Not doing his shoulder much so, good, yeah. it? Not there. So Lippert, left footer. Drives us up and under, goes right up the forward flanks. Big jump, but no value. Comes out quickly. Bays try to pick it up. They do. Handball's inside, but he misses. Wollonga now, they get wrapped up. Turns around, they goes over. Pettit gets it again. Drives forward. No Wollonga, one there. Wollonga are going to march this one out. Once again, out there quickly. And that one was Lachlan Scott. He goes out and finds Haskett. So Wollonga now. Controlling the ball. They're in the back flank, though. He'll stay on the club room side. Drives it up right over. Turns around. That one's too easy there to Hoffman, and Hoffman takes it in front of him. He's got a bit of colour back in here, Kevy. Yeah, he was all blonde last he week. He was, wasn't he? he must so have he turns around. He did the hairdresser. Yeah, <laughs> turns around. Perhaps blonde is his normal colour. <laughs> so goes up, goes on the grounds, taps over there. Counter Bay goes onto it, and he turns around, wraps it all up, and gets held up here in the forward flank, and be a, a ball up by umpire Price. Umpire Price looks around, says, I'm going out there. Sherry stands right behind him. Up they go. Alan gets it up, gets it off his hands for the base. She goes over the boundary line. It'll be the umpire, boundary umpire's turn this time. And boundary umpire Rice comes in now. He takes the ball. He's right now in the forward pocket. Puts it all up. He gives it a good hoit too, so for the young small lad. Goes up, turns around, can't get it. Bay strambling around, picks up there. Sherry gets it. The whistle goes though. And the umpire comes in for a another ball up deep in that forward pocket for Willunga. Up it goes. Allen goes up, gets slightly out to it. Bays get it. Smothered kick though. Goes back over his head. Have to get his play on because it was touched off the body anyway. Picks it all up. Bays kick it out. Go on the back flank. Man on man here. Pushes all over. There's a threat mark there to Willunga. Bays players seem to be outnumbered every time they yeah. go for the ball. Yep, certainly are. So it uh, turns around. It could be Williams, I reckon, with a ball. Drives that ball forward up in the flank. Misses it. Turns around. Picked up quickly there by the Bays in uh, Vermeulen. Vermeulen gets put over the boundary line and free kick going out there. So he obviously held onto it too long to Braden Aldis. He goes off, finds his player inside in Billy Cook. Billy Cook, he normally plays with a long sleeve jumper, doesn't he? Well, probably not today. Well, he did all last all the years he's played before, so yeah. he's there this morning. He probably would have. So he lines up now. He gets to have a shot. Goes off, kicks That's outside of fifty, kick, yeah. puts it all up. Goes to on the fat side, up and down. Drops the mark. Goes around. Longer try to pick it up. Intercepted by the bays. Can't get it out there. And Brown turns around, goes in onto it. Keeps going on. Turns around and gets shoved in the back by. Um, Yep, so he got the free kick, but uh, yeah, good old uh, Jakey Stanfield didn't want him there and uh, gave him another one in the back anyway. So, back flank, up it comes there now, goes out there, this one's pretty close to the boundary line. Up and over, Kevy, for you to take it with the FBA scoreboard still. Counter Bay two goals with Wollonga on 6-3 that they were at quarter time. Mm. Umpire, boundary umpire's got all the ball now. They're throwing it in pretty well. Nice high throw in there by the boundary umpires. Ruckman were too far back. That's half the trouble. Rand Tyson Neal goes through there. Gets a hand pass over the top now. Wollonga and coming out. It is marked there uh, by 
Tyson Hoffman. So Hoffman's got a shot on goal here. Not very far out. Be their first score for this quarter. Yep. And it's not that far away from half time either. 22 minute mark, so time on started. And he's not that far out. Distance be no problem. Just to get the. Oh, he's put it into the breeze. He's or missed it. Yeah. He might have missed it. He has. And that is a minor score only there to Walunga. And that breeze must have blown a little bit then. Oh, yeah, I think she was off the instep, I think, because she really Could have, but it, it, it took it off went at quickly, the end. didn't it? Yeah. Anyway, they bring the. Counter Bay bring the ball back in. It's gone over there to. Wollonga player there in um, Maddock and Williams It's on the ground there trying to get the ball out then was Billy Cook but uh, not successful and the umpire will end up with it umpire tosses it up again Allen was up there for Encounter Bay the ball comes down coming through then was Encounter Bay player he was Pushed, pushed in, the, in the back, I would oh, think. No, it's, it's gone in, the other way around. I suppose. I thought he got his boot to it. It's gone there to um, Braden Alters. Alters gets Williams. it over the top to Williams, and Williams kicks it over, and it's marked near the boundary line by Walunga, and that is player there in Danny Jackers. And he kicks it into the centre half for Ford area there. The ball comes out, and here's a chance for another goal here, and that one has gone straight through the centre of the goal. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Get the power. Point at it, one point. Uh, McLaren, 3 4, Victor Harbour, two points. And Mount Compass, 2 1, Strath, 1 4. Back in the centre here now. Up she goes. Umpire Rice puts it all up. Up and down it goes. Turns around, picks up. Pettit tries it. He grabs it around. Bays. Lippert gets it and comes back here. He's going to go to Braden Aldous. Probably a bit unlucky. He was getting, had the ball. But uh, yeah, anyway, he goes up there. Wollonga up there, forward flanks. Both players bypass it. Comes up to Sherry. Sherry turns around. Gets the ball up. Goes forward once again. Goes over too far. And this is going to hurt the Bays badly as Wollonga get another shot on goal. Turns around, did not need this. Late in the last quarter, 36 goes across, kicks forward and gives it to Jake Stanfield. So this has undone the good works the Bays did very early and for a good five-eighths of the quarter and they turn around and uh, have thrown it away in this last three minutes. So Biggie Jake Stanfield rolls up here. Goes for, well this is his first too, so he's lining up for his first one. Right in front. Goes off, umpire moves, and he goes a point. He's missed that one. That is a bad, bad miss to uh, Wollonga there. So Wollonga go to seven goals, six, uh, five to encounter Bay, two goals on the FBA scoreboard. Quickly brought in by the Bays, comes all up. Hands off, hands there, and it goes quickly around here to Scott Darcy, uh, Darcy Scott. He goes off. He finds his player in there in Sherry and Wollonga are getting back on top of this again. Missed the last two easies that should have been goals. So perhaps that breeze is just a little bit more worrying at that end. He'll roll back. He'll kick from probably at least well, four. didn't worry in Counter Bay in the first quarter because he didn't have no, any shots get, with it. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even get close to it. No. So, uh, yeah, but they've undone their work here, haven't they? Yep. Turn around, in comes Sherry, drives up, he puts this ball up, he bangs into it. The umpire's not moving too no, much umpire's this time. Touched. He turned touched, he says, yep. and there it goes. So and there's a point to Ryan Sherry. They now go to two, three, four, five, six, aren't they? I think it's seven goals a six to Lunga. Counter Bay play on with the ball now. The ball's in this almost in the centre of the ground. Player going through there, he might have got one too high then. No, he didn't, said the umpire. Ball's on the ground though. And here's this has gone up, up high, 
This is bring the road. Good mark. And there's a mark being taken there by oh, all. He, kicks into he him. kicked it straight into the player then that was running at him. And this will stay just inside the boundary line. Will it stay inside? Yes, I think it has. And well, Ungara got it now. And there's a kick that went straight to the opposition. It's gone over, over there Sweetman. now to Sweetman. And Sweetman, he's got to get this one down. There's not that long to go before half time. And Sweetman kicks it into centre half forward. Tyson. And Tyson Neal takes the mark on his chest. But the only thing is, Tyson might be just a little bit too far out. Yeah, yeah he's going to be kicking 40. So this distance shouldn't bother him. Outside the 50, you'll find he's uh, just a little bit ginger on it but uh, in here I think he'd be fairly confident he's gone back a long way so I don't know what that's going to do he goes any further back he, he stretches his legs he's, yeah. off, he's away from the man on the mark yeah. missed that one and that one's missed and it's a minus four earlier that's their first one two goals one to encounter bay seven goals six to Wollongo on the FPA scoreboard and we've got one other score here, Trev. Strathalbyn, 5-7. Mount Compass, 5 goals, 3. Yeah, Just thought that would be a close one on it. So, ball comes back in from Wollonga. Up they go. Bulldog can't get it. But that's man in front. It's good. And that's Mills for Wollonga. Good stretch on that one. Grabbed it. Off he goes now. Plays out there. He's got two players out here. Mm. This is how they've opened the bays up. Quickly comes around. Stanfield. Stanfield goes in. Looks for Hoffman. Hoffman goes up. Reads it beautifully. Touched. Ooh. Oh, when they turn around, they argued with the umpire and Hoffman. Uh, sorry, it wasn't Hoffman anyway. It goes off and he turns around and plays on quickly and drives it in the forward line. And there's a big bass. Look, he might have, he might have just touched it, but uh, the umpire would be lucky to oh, pick that from yeah. where he was. Yeah, where he was, because they you know, up and you know, umpire virtually almost up and down the centre, don't they? And that was and right out could, wide. Or so. you could just tip, touch the top of your finger. And yeah, the, but it's no good going the umpire. The whistle's there, and you go off, and they took it off, and the player went on and bang. Yeah, well, he's arguing about it yep. the way they went. Bass comes in, he made the umpire work, but he's come back, so he indicates, and bingo, there she goes. So Bass gets. A good teammate of mine. A good teammate of Trevor's. Uh, <laughs> this one, this one is uh, Alan Field. And Alan uh, spent a long time down here as headmaster or principal of the Victor Harbour High School. He also played for played for Encounter Bay back when he was a young teacher down here. So he's had a couple of goes back at Victor Harbour. Loves the place that much. He lives here now. Anyway, we'll be chatting with him. Won two male medals as well. Anyway, Lippert's got hold of it, puts it on the left boot, kicks it good in, kick. and there's a good kick there, and it's gone straight into the waiting arms of Costello. Costello now kicks it into the forward line. It's one way of keeping the opponents away, isn't it? You put your hand out and hold them out the way, and here's a chance for another goal here. Oh, I reckon he's got it, too. And that, one, that one there was the um, 13, which was... FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. To go on, as I said, so yeah, if you're listening in, Alan is uh, doing yeah. a lot of there of the halftime live hub, and uh, yeah, he's actually a good talk of being a teacher, he is, and a uh, thorough, you know, thorough gentleman. He's a thorough gentleman. Chairman of the Tribunal, too, for yes, a fair while. Yes, he is. An, mate of mine that's where we played brownie points we got in the same team together so it goes up and down in the center and goes up and umpire price picks it back up again up she goes bass gets it out this time comes over to Wollonga. Wollonga gets the kick forward up they come out they come and try and get it all up picks it up sherry tries to get drops it then he kicks it off the ground could have pinged him for that 
Lippert gets out for the bays. He gets one a bit high, but goes up, goes over. Mills throws it out for Wollonga. Picks up there. Getting the run of the ball is Liam Nye. Wollonga, hand back in. Bass handballs. Goes back around quickly over there to Irvine. Irvine's off the side of the boot. Comes out to Sherry. Sherry can't get it. He wraps up there. And there's a whistle gone Freaky. there. Yep. Couldn't see what it was, but goes to Lippert. Lippert for the bays. Drives it out this wide side. Goes off out there. Can't bend down. Slightly does. Turns around, goes around everywhere, can't go onto it, goes in and finds his player in quickly there, and that's to Fukana Bay. Puckridge, it's Billy Puckridge. Puckridge. Puckridge with the ball. It's handed over again. Wollonga goes off here. Look at this. Bounce all out. Jakey Stanfield goes off. Should be called play on. Went around that far, and then he kicks dead into the pocket. Goes out there, comes off into it, and goes down a big sherry right? again. No, so Sherry, yeah. Sherry with the yep. coloured boots. Yeah, Sherry, but again, he missed his last one and should have got. So he goes around right on the full. He's already face. got two. Yep, 2-1 two he's kicked so far. He's going to line up with this one. Goes deep out and he cuts himself to give the angle right off onto there. Umpire right next to the man on the marks of our camera angle. He goes back. Comes in, lines himself up now. Puts it all in, drives up, kicks a ball, and he's put that one miles across. Could almost go out in the full, I reckon it is. Wait for it. They turn around. And that's the siren had gone. I think gone. he kicked afterwards. So on the FPA scoreboard, we have Wollonga, eight goals, six to Encounter Bay, three goals, one. So the Bays certainly did themselves a bit more onto there. So... Anyhow, we'll give a wrap up. We've got the goal scores. Uh, we'll give a wrap up. So we've got your man out there. So we'll get on there so we can get that person set up for the halftime hope. This is 90.1 Happy FM is Great Southern Footy on the air and YouTube. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tyre Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tyre Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. The FM's Half Time Hub, brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. Oh, in the Counter Bay Football Club over the years, aren't you, Alan? You've <laughs> no, not sure the heroes. Well, I mean, you, you've been the team of the century. You've done well. Yeah, well, that's true. Yes. Yeah. And also the local high school principal for a fair time. Yes, you've been a few I was years there as from 1983 to 1990. 
and I taught there from 56 to 60. Oh, well, yeah. Played so you, you know a little bit about the high school. <laughs> you know a little bit, some of the kids that are probably adults that are in the, in the football now. It was my first appointment. Was it? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> they give you a good school to start with, though, didn't they? Yes, yes, a story about that, but it's probably not relevant today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you came here in, what, 1956, you 56, said? 56, yeah. So before that, you're only in Teachers College? Teachers College for four years, yes. Mm. Did you play for Teachers College? No, no, I actually played in the United Church League. Uh, I was able to go, I was, I was studying, still finishing a Diploma of Education, and uh, going back, there were lectures on Saturday morning. So back I went, and because I couldn't get back here, I then played in the United Church League. Well, that was a reasonably strong league years ago, wasn't it? Well, they did have some good teams. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it was a great variety, uh, probably, you know, an uneven competition, really, yeah. Mm. yeah. And then you um, decided to play for Encounter Bay? Yes, well, that's a very interesting story. Uh, <clears throat> as I understand it, there was a, a rule that uh, if you live between the rivers... <laughs> you brought that up a few times, haven't you? <laughs> and if you were a public servant, you played for Victor Victor Harbour. Victor Harbour, yep. And you and broke the rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, the story goes, you've heard it before, Kevin. Yeah, I've heard it before. And probably plenty of others have, but I'll repeat it. Yeah. Yeah. On the doorstep one Saturday morning was Don mm. Bartell, mm. Uh, one of the, the greats from Encounter Bay. He actually played a few matches for Sturt, and my older brother Lloyd also played a few matches for Sturt. And so they got talking, and older brother says, oh, younger brother's going down to teach down there, Don. He, he's not a bad footballer. Why don't, you, why don't you sound him out? So Don came around, no guff, just to, straight to the point, as Don always yeah, was. Yeah. And he said, you're happy to play for Encounter Bay? And I said, yes, I'm very happy to play for Encounter Bay. And how much did you ask for, Alan? There was no money, <laughs> money in those, in those no days. No money in those days. <laughs> you did it for love. <laughs> No, I'm serious. There was no money at all. You played for the love of the club, for the love of the game, and you played, uh, you, you know, you did your best. Yeah, well, that's that's what you're there to do, isn't it? That's and, right. And that's everyone right. in the team did the same thing. Yeah, hmm. and, you know, I, in many ways I think we were better off because uh, when, you're, when you're playing for money, it can get a bit tricky. Hmm. You've got to play well all the time, don't That's you? That's right. You do. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone knows about it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's the way it goes. But you obviously played pretty well because you won two male medals. Well, you know, it was a good, it was a good team. Uh, I think Lloyd Tugwell came to coach us from 50, 58. But I called the era there, not because I was playing, but I called the era 56 to 61 six years, mm. the golden era of an Encounter Bay footy club. Yeah. We played in six consecutive grand finals and won four. Well, that's not a bad effort. Well, but nothing's happened since then. Takes a bit to beat it, though, close. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> not even get close. Well, I think Encounter Bay played in five grand finals and won one just recently. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, I mean, even to get in five grand finals is a pretty good effort. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. But we were able to win four of those six consecutive appearances. And uh, it was a good team. I mean, we had uh, some pretty good players and Lloyd got us to bond. Uh, you're playing for the team. You're not playing for yourself. You're playing for the team. Mm. And, uh, no, it was good. Good, a good era for the club. And then you, you left again. Yes, I went back to my old stamping ground, my old school where I was a student, Adelaide High, mm. as a senior master. And we came back with Dennis Collins. I came back and played a, enough matches to qualify, I think, for a couple of years. But uh, uh, it wasn't quite the same. No. Mm. No, you really got to be a part of it the yeah, whole time, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. I think in those days we had to play five to qualify, but it wasn't the same. Mm. No, well, that's, that's a pity, but uh, then you came back to teach again yes. as the boss. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's different again. It's, yeah, it's different, different again, isn't the it? Boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so that, that was good, but you didn't play football again, of course, at no, those days. No, no, I played a fair bit of tennis. Uh, 
and I had a, you know, a lot of fun with tennis as well, down here and in other places, yeah. Mm. So you didn't go anywhere else teaching other than Adelaide Boys High and... Uh, well, here? I had four, three or four stints as a principal. I opened Glengowry High in 68. Then we went to Alice Springs for five, Murray Bridge High for nine. That's years. Years, yeah. and then back here for the f for seven. Would have been different at Murray Bridge High School <laughs> compared to no, Big High School. No, wouldn't it? it was a, good, a big school. Yeah, and big we school. had over a hundred people on staff. Actually, yeah. hundred on staff over yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, but it was a good school, actually. I think, in in some respects, one of the best schools I ever taught in. Mm, but no, no football or anything yeah. no no football no no I was past that I think but well past the time I got then it. when you got back here we asked if you'd be interested in going on the tribunal yes and you surprised me by saying yes I'd love it <laughs> <laughs> I think you made a statement once after you've been on it a while that you had more power as a football tribunal <laughs> person than what you had as a principal of the school. <laughs> in a sense, yes, you're right, because, you know, uh, there was no appeal once you decided. What, once you made it. the decision that a couple of those <laughs> that was kids it. got a couple of matches and that's what they got. Well, I had some interesting times on tribunal, Kevin. We did. We, were you involved on the tribunal where they locked the gates and the Victor Oval? No. Oh, you weren't? No, uh, no, I don't <laughs> think so. But one of the things I do remember quite distinctly was there were junior cults and senior cults who, in those days, if you uh, were reported for abusive language, mm -hmm. you'd go to you'd go to a tribunal. Yeah. It's not like that now. No, you get so we, I'd, now. <laughs> I'd be getting a junior cult or a senior cult coming in mm -hmm. on this abusive language. Yeah. And I can distinctly remember saying to each one of them, I said, now, you've been playing football for many, quite a few years. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now, I want to ask you one question. How many times have you mm -hmm. seen an umpire change his mind because you've abused him? Or any of your team players? And a bit of a deep thought. Oh, I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen it. <laughs> I said, well, why do you abuse him? There's no point. Absolutely no point no in point. doing that. <laughs> Two matches out. out. <laughs> then they used to call you Mr. Field then, didn't they? <laughs> oh, all to my face, but it might have been different behind my back. Uh, yeah, some interesting stories there. But you got yourself involved with other things while you were down here, didn't you? You got yourself yeah. involved with the Coral and Arts? Yeah, South Coast Coral and Arts mm. Society has been a big part of my life and my wife, Margie. Uh, and we're still with them. We're still with them, even though I'll be 88 in August. Um, still doing a bit of conducting there with the choir. Mm. But uh, no, they, they, it's been a very important uh, organisation mm. uh, on the, <coughs> the cultural side. And you've been an important part of it too, along the way. Well, uh, I've sort of played parts on stage, uh, sung solos, conducted, musical director, all that sort of stuff. Mm. Uh, but it's, it's well worthwhile, well worthwhile. So well worthwhile anyone that wants to have a go at that type of thing, to yeah, get I mean, in there and do it because they're always calling up for people, yeah, aren't they? It's not everybody's seen, but mm. if you have an interest in it, a great hobby. Mm. Don't try and earn a living that way. But if it's <laughs> You're not making much money. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you haven't sung a La Scala or somewhere like that. But as a hobby, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, yeah no, you've, you've been, been great for that. been great for the football too. You're a member of the Hall of Fame down here and uh, in, in the, well, for the Encounter Bay Football Club anyway. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it's good to catch up with you again, Alan. We'll see you around. Last time I was going to get you, I think you ended up with a COVID. I did have COVID <laughs> a couple of, a couple of <laughs> weeks ago. Yes, well, it was, fortunately, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming along today. Anyway, you've it's obviously been a pleasure to come along, recovered. Kevin, and share a few a few thoughts from way back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for that, Alan. And this has been Great Southern Footy on Great Southern FM on air and YouTube. Happy FM's Half Time Hub. Brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. 
FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Here we are at the Encounter Bay, the players are out. I'll wait for Ian to come across so as we can come back to the radio, but uh, yeah, so we'll have to try and pick up a few scores here. So we'll go on, the players are out, the umpires are out, and we'll set Garrity to go, so it, uh, it's just don't think the umpires are ready to go yet. Cause <laughs> nah, <laughs> as I said, but uh, we put the light on and uh, he's pretty right, so it's a uh, it's uh, so they indicate to them that they can go whenever they're ready and uh, fiddle around so it's going so we're getting a few scores up which is the way to go the players are starting to break up now and come back so but here at Encounter Bay like I said I'll just uh, get up there in a minute we'll rip out but uh, yeah half time here has been Wollonga basically all day the bays of And Thank you, Ian. Thanks, Ian. So, yep, we're back on the radio now as the players start to break up here now and get in their positions. The umpires have seen the light and they're set to go. So the interview's gone on. Like I said, uh, Encounter Bay come out, got back a bit. Wollonga come back at them and could have hurt them. They missed a couple of easy shots that second quarter and uh, the Bays finished up kicking three and uh, Wollonga, so uh, they go in one goal less than what they did at quarter time. So, But still uh, is a reasonably comfortable lead here at this moment and uh, to go on to it, so we'll finish up around there. Players gradually taking their time here now. We get around, so we've got some scores. I'll quickly go while they set up. Yanklilla, three goals, three. Langhorns Creek, six goals, eight. So they've come back. Maiponga Selix, nine, ten. Goulburn Port Elliot, one goal, three. McLaren, ten goals, six. Victor Harbour, six points. Then a bit of a worry, that one. And, and Mount Compass, five, three. Strathalbyn, a five, seven. And of course, here in Counter Bay, we have Wollonga, eight, six, to Encounter Bay, three, one. Umpires are set here to go. You turn around, the lights on for them, mate, isn't it? Well, you tell them to tell go. Them, get, tell them, put the light up for them as we go. So we've got the light indicating they're waiting for it. So keep it on. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. They've signalled now and indicated yeah. to go. So 
They come around now. Umpire Rice with the ball in the centre. Up he sets. They go up. Bass goes up. Tries to get it back down. Tyson Neal's in the centre. He can't get it out. Wollonga straight to attack. Goes up. Body on body up there. Tonkin gets the ball from Counter Bay. Drives it out to the wing. Goes off onto there. Turns around. Picks it all up. And that's uh, Wollonga gets the ball quickly in Job Colwell. He goes forward. Over the back goes up. Reads up there. In uh, quickly out there by the bays, which was good going in Oakley Johnson. He drives up, goes over the boundary line on the wing position in front of the club rooms for a, a boundary throw in. Sun shining brightly on a few faces over there, Trev. They yeah. want a bit of sunscreen on them. Yeah, well, actually, they'd be all right there, Kevy, because that wind's coming from behind them, so they are protected. It'd be nice and warm there, I can tell you. But if you stand out in that wind, it, uh, it's certainly freezing. Hamble comes over to Lippert. He gets tackled by two players and can't get away from Counter Bay, but they have moved it up to their forward flank. So over that club rooms. Up they go. Bass gets it up for Wollonga, puts it all down. Wollonga come out, can't get to it. Crispin tries to get it up, can't get a round ball to it. Quicked up quickly out there by Billy Puckridge from Counter Bay. Goes forward and he finds his player out there quickly. And that one there is Bradley Kruger. Kruger goes off, comes in the centre. Oh, too, too high. high and far over the yeah. bay head. They recover well though, but he can't pick it all up. He turns around, goes off into it, and he turns around, he puts it on the ground, flicks it all out. Lippert gets too high and too long. Miguel goes down for Wollonga, and Crispin comes in, gets high. And I think so after the three, three frees there, there's, there's actually one to come out. So, yeah, umpires are trying to let this go on a bit. So Crispin gets up for Encounter Bay, goes out wide, too short down the bootlaces of Lachlan Costello, who did pretty well to try and keep it. And she goes out of bounds for a boundary throw in in front of the coaches' boxes. Yeah, well, the big ones over there, aren't they? So yeah, they're the big, big ones. I'm not too sure which is which over there. But anyway, from the throw in now, players are there pushing the ball around. I think they just keep it inside the boundary line. They do, but it would have been better if they didn't. Didn't, the yeah. <laughs> Kick the mark has been taken there by Wollonga. Wollonga kick it in. Oh, they've got a player. There's no one with him out there. And that player that's got the ball out there was Cameron McDonald. So McDonald's got a player in the middle there by himself. Crispin can't be on the Logan line out there. It's Logan and in, in the go again. And Tyson Hoffman marks the ball right in the centre of the ground. So Hoffman's got it down the to the big players down there. And it wasn't the biggest player that marked it. But Sherry. The, it was one of them, one of the smaller players that marked it there. And Sherry's two goals in the first quarter and he should have one goal in the third quarter if he can kick this one straight he sets up his mark well he puts one right where the man is and then comes back so many yards and digs another <laughs> hole in the turf and then goes back further than that it's Swainy or need a truck here to yeah, fill in the yeah, holes yeah. in the turf he you can't tell me happy. you can't tell me kicking at goals you're watching the, the hole in the ground no I don't think so I think you should <laughs> look at him and see where you're going to kick it anyway in he goes puts the ball on the boot and that one has gone straight through the centre the Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. The dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Enjoy. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, one of the best beer gardens on the south coast. There's traditional pub style accommodation available and a drive through sip and save outlet. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. There it is on the FPA scoreboard. Turn around, taking a while for the ball. She must go right well, back over the back. Then. So yeah, the umpires are coming on. Coming up on the side, not straight back in the goals. And uh, the boys uh, in the boundary line have got it now and then back towards the centre. So quite a, like I said, Pleasant weather out there. As I said, the wind's coming off the sea and it's cold if you can get into it. If you can get out of sight the wind and uh, the sun on the front of you, it's beautiful. So back in the centre, umpire Rice throws it up. Up they go. Comes out. Bass picks it out there. Comes round to Allen. Allen throws the ball up. He gets tackled. Goes over there. Counter, um, Counter Bay try to tackle Willunga and they can't. Goes off up here. 
comes out running onto uh, Darcy Scott for Wollonga. Goes That's inside, kick, look yeah. at this, bingo. <laughs> Man that kicked the last one lines up for another. There's a beautiful kick, wasn't it? Just yeah. curled around nicely, hit him on the chest. Yeah. As I said, there's no pressure. Oh, it's more, uh, yeah, more divots. Sweeney, no. go and get another truckload of yeah. stuff from Nifty. Let's <laughs> let's see him do that during winter. You do that in the pitch and he'll lose his boot. Stick he might lose his job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, no, as I said, with uh, no pressure on them, the uh, Wollonga will be able to pick their marks and wait for the leads and then just easily put it on, so... In comes a Sherry once again, lined up, only 30 seconds ago he had his shot, this one's a bit further yeah. out, goes up, hangs he wide, he goes to the little fat side over there and goes up for another minor score to him. So they go to nine goals, seven on the FPA scoreboard in Counter Bay, three goals, one. Bays will bring the ball back in. Where are they going to go with it? Over the club room side they've gone, oh, we've got a height in that, given the big fellas there from... Um, well, under a chance, fly high for it, and Counter Bay got it for a short time oh. there, and oh, they made a handballing yes. mistake there, and they lost it. And Wollonga now have got control of it, goes into the forward line, all well picked up there by the player, comes around, puts his boot on it, and I think he has just missed it. Another minor score there to Wollonga. They go to nine goals eight. They haven't put it up this time, Trip. No. <laughs> On our FPA scoreboard. So, Tonkin now with the ball from Counter Bay. This is what Wollonga did in the first quarter. They're repeating it once again. Kicks it up and down. Over the back. Bulldog can't get to it. Comes over the back and snaps it off the ground really quick. Goes off. Kicks it up in the forward flank. Tackle. Bang. Handwork goes up. Kicked up beautifully there by the Bays. Then under pressure was Mitchell Davis. He goes forward. Handball goes out. Back to Davis. Davis goes around. Left boot. Up and under. Goes over the back. Picks up there for Brown. Brown can't get to it. Pushes it all through. Goes off there. And Wollonga... <sighs> Oh, he tried to sock it off the ground, but she goes through for a minor score there. So in Counter Bay, go to three goals, two to Malunga, nine goals, eight. And Malunga will bring the ball back in. They're going over the far side of the ground now, and will it stay in? It does stay in over there. Mark taken there by Darcy Scott. He'll keep down, finds Hoffman standing there in the middle of the ground by himself in the centre square. And he comes in, puts the ball right down into the scoring oh, area down there in the back of the round, pack. It goes it? again, and that is Ryan Sherry. And Sherry realises he's too far out to kick it. And Crispin comes in and uh, makes the player earn the mark then, and that might be Oliver Look McKillo. This. And there was no one with him. No. No, well, slack, the, slack by the boys. Look, if you look there now, there's there's five players across the centre half back. Yeah, all all and, standing and, there watching. Yeah, watching, and the and the Wollonga players knew this, so they just turned around. And they said, just went well, another. They just ran out and five in spots. or six metres further back. Yeah, they just ran out in spots and just pick it all out. And Jake Stanfield's having a shot for goal, and he's made them pay, and that is yes. another goal. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies have over 40 years experience in mining and blending soils and organics. We're specialists in turf soils, landscaping and organic blends. Customised washed sands for horse arenas, sports grounds and building sands. We also have a large range of decorative stones, gravels, mulches and pine barks. From car trailers to all truckloads, wholesale quarry direct. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies, 86 Sandmine Road, Mount Compass. Open Monday to Friday, 7am to 4pm at Saturday 7am to 11am. Phone 8556-8421. They've playing, playing in the team. Um, there's a lot of them haven't had too many A-grade games this year. Yeah, oh, that's a good breed, you know. Oh, well, yeah. For yeah. them, isn't it? You, put them, you give them a the taste. Top. Yeah. Back in the centre she is. Umpire Rice. Puts the ball up. Allen can't get to it. Bass thumps it all out. Malunga get it, but he gets tackled. Puts it all down. Lippert gets in under. He's in there. Crispin gets it out. Comes out from the bays. Goes forward. Goes up in the flank. And that's a good mark on the chest out there. To goes out to uh, Costello. Costello puts it up to full forward. Up they go and out there's they come. Mark. There's mm. a mark there to Encounter Bay. And he turns around and goes up. And I reckon that would be... Kruger? Could be a Kruger. 
Looks a bit, yep, look at that. It's starting to pick them all up, yep, yep, certainly is. Bradley Kruger. So Kruger, he's kicked one, so he's lining up directly in front. He turned around, he's only going to be kicking from 20, 23. Lines up, kick kicked one, so he's got one. That was a good snap he did too. Drives this one, puts it all up, umpire steps back, nods his head, comes back in and says, goal. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Uh, two kicked against you, sorry, for the opposition, and you get one back at, uh, yeah, it's still behind. Well, if they kick two and you kick one, you're never going to win, no, are you? It's still, it's still catch up, aren't you? Anyway, umpire throws the ball up in the centre of the ground. Alan went up for the ruck, I don't think he got near it down there, and it was kicked down there by number 19 in James Brown for, in Counter Bay. And here's a chance for him now. Lippert had it briefly then, and he did the hand pass, but. Uh, the hand brass went astray over the top to Wollonga and nearly a mark taken down there by the player there in um, Darcy Scott. He couldn't do it, but the thing at the moment, the ball is very close to the boundary line. In fact, pushed across the boundary line uh, by Wade Sweeten. Uh, over the far side of the ground in the left forward pocket. That's the goals down the Adelaide end. Coming out of the pack, the ball was taken down. Can they get it again? <laughs> Going against the flow then. He tried to get it for Wollonga, couldn't. And, but Wollonga, they were backing up. They got good backing up there all the time. Well, it's got to be in the <laughs> back. It's got to, yeah, you'd have thought. <laughs> all he wanted was stirrups and a whip. I thought it was Herman's <laughs> yearling the horse there with the saddle on it. Anyway, Gowder Bay got the ball down to the forward line. And Wollonga are going to clear this air again. No, they're not. They're trying to try and clear it out and it's it's gone down there to Cameron McDonald. He can't do much with it and it's on the ground and at the moment there's milling around and there's players around everywhere and finally the umpire decides to call it up. Not far from the inside 50 there for Encounter Bay down the, uh, as we said, the Adelaide end. Comes down, Lippert's got hold of it. Puts the ball on the left boot. There's a long kick into the forward line down there. Oh, that's good, a good mark. Tyson. You've got to take that, pay that one. And Tyson, Neil there. If it kicked the ball up in the air, give Tyson plenty of time to get ready to put his hands there. There's also plenty of time for the, the, the back man to, to deal a little bit harshly with him. But uh, Tyson, Neil's used to that. And he'll put this one through the goals. This could be two in the quarter already. Yep. He can get this one. Yeah, they've got to goes, keep at least level, don't they? Or yeah. peg a couple back if they can. He's not that far out, probably 20 metres out, straight in front. Put the ball on the boat, then straight through the goals it goes. And that is... FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. That's what you want to see, you know, players out, players coming up and uh, make a game of it. So that's all you can ask for, a uh, good experience for those young ones coming in, realise what it's about and what they have to do to work on it. So the ball comes back to the centre and goes to... A good initiation price. for a few of them to come in against a team like Wollonga. Yep. Yeah, well, you try to bring them in against lower sides, but when mm -hmm. you're forced to, well, you know, it's, it's good. So, Ruckman set themselves, up they go. Allen tries to get it out, can't. Bass grabs it up from the rebounds, comes back out, picked up there quickly, goes over here. 
And of course, Lippert yeah. gets it once again, and he's right in the middle of it and gives it back. And making to the umpire. sure he doesn't get away with That's it. That's right. <laughs> They've done their homework, so finishes up, comes out quickly, picked up there by Wollonga, goes around to Liam Nye. Nye puts it forward, goes thumped from behind by Tonkin, goes up, pushed out by um, Wollonga. Then goes forward, one arm goes up on Dalitopoulos. <laughs> yep, uh, so it wasn't it. it. Was to Wollonga, and that one there is actually Job Colwell. Job Colwell with the ball, back flank, comes all out, he finds out and he finds Tyson Hoffman. Hoffman goes off inside, it's a bad kick, picked up here with there by Pettit. Pettit goes for the base, puts it out wide, goes out that's wide and that's one. a good one in front of his teeth there. And that one goes around to Mitchell Davis. Mitchell Davis kicks it out, comes to the lead, goes in out there and goes around and lip it. Lip it, he looks around, goes on quickly, left foot, puts it oh, out for the lead, it? goes all out there and he finds Tyson. Neil on on his chest, low down, but he's got it. But he's put him at a foot low. Oh, made it over, yeah, forty-five degree angle. Still, he's so a right footer round. though, isn't he? Can, yep, he's he not goes. real sure. He's kicking it, so he's only kicking into the lead. It's gone too far, and Wollonga intercepted it beautifully. He plays on, goes under a pressure, and he finds his player in the hasket in the back pocket. Goes off quickly, finds out to Colwell again. Colwell goes off Wollonga, drives it down the flank. Over they go. Bulldog can't take it. Comes off hands, goes over. Sherry gets over. He pulls it underneath. Could all wants to watch it, but those around. Too many bays put their hands on, and they turn around, and there's a ball up by the umpire. Nearly could have gone because he dragged it back twice, didn't mm. he? Up he goes. Allen gets it out. Goes over there to encounter bay. Comes off the boot, untouched, and goes over the boundary line. Relieving kick to Walunga in the back pocket. He comes in now. Drives this ball back to where it come. Up they go. Allen can't get to it, comes all over, he pushes down. Bays get wrapped up and they turn around, Pettit gets up and gives it back to umpire Price. Puts it up there, right in front of the coach's box, up they go, Haskett this time goes in, finds this player running past in the, in the Wollonga, goes up forward, turns around, too late coming in there with Sherry, an easy mark there to Tonkin. There's only one there today. Yep, <laughs> only one. Hamish. Around, so, yeah, Hamish goes off. He finds his player in Bulldog. He goes up close. And he's still just for a defensive of the wing. Goes off. Over the back. Over the back to Pettit. Can't get to it. Goes off. Off hands. Turns round. Lunga handballs it backwards now. Alexopoulos gets it. Puts the ball up now. Up and under. Goes off. Thump comes from behind. Over they go. Knock forward again. Comes on up to there. Wollonga picks it all up. He turned oh, around. Oh, swung around. Then. Yep. <laughs> Got away with it. He swung around twice. Going to go. Turns around. Can't get up to it. Handball comes out. Comes around quickly to encounter Bay and Patrick McInerney. He goes forward. And this is going to be another one. No, Wollonga picked it up. Didn't wait for it to go out. Goes over. Handball's inside. Drives it back to the wing again. Back where it comes. Out they come. Bulldog can't get it. Sees the wrap trap come through Vermoulin. Ooh. He gets trapped up. He wraps That's him around. Loses it in the tackle. Goes back quickly out there to Darcy Scott. Ball comes out now. Out it comes quickly. Comes out here into there. And uh, Brett Meagle. Meagle goes forward. It goes all off. And going back once again is Tonkin. Relief. Goes out there, goes out wide, finds his player out quickly and goes out wider out there. That one goes to Oakley Johnson. Johnson comes back inside, goes over there, finds another one into the back but didn't matter, it goes to Brown. Counter Bay controlling this now. Goes out there, tries to get over the back and he can't. Wollonga picked it all up, swung around as he got a handball out from it. Still along the boundary line there. He gets tackled and the ball wasn't anywhere near him. And he turned around, the umpires doesn't pay those ones. As we turn around, and he didn't like the attention of the Bay Boy there, and I reckon that was Mitchell Davis. Of course, that was against Braden Nautis. Up they go. Haskett pushes him underneath it and grabs it out the air. Off they go. Thump from behind. Goes over. Picked up. Meagle goes. Goes down into it. Bay's jumped on it. Goes around. Comes out quickly. Now he goes in it back again. He turns around. This will be another ball up. And that one there was Patrick McInerney for the Bay's. So. The ball's Ford. just outside of the 50 metre arc at the moment for Wollonga. Goes up, up quickly. They, go, they push the ball down and can they get it out? Not count a bay player there, grabbed hold of it. They Ooh, certainly grabbed hold of him. And too high, you're right, that one, Trev. And the free kick there goes to Encounter Bay. That's Vermoulin. And 
that's not a bad kick either down on the ground it goes no one can mark it though comes down loose trying to kick it out and there there's a lot of players around in that pack and finally the ball does come out and don't you hate it okay step on as soon as the umpire blew his whistle it came out of the pack well just before he did umpire throws it up again up it goes down it goes counter bay got the ball there up high it goes and you play under it down there is Wolunga and he takes the mark it's back into the centre of the ground it goes and that would be a Tonkin Tonkin yep it's Tamish Tonkin that's got it kicks, kicks it, it down the centre half forward up it high it went mark Gould. taken by and counter bay there and uh, Gould Gould and Gould's got it now right down to the full forward area down there easy uh, pickings for Colwell yeah and there's no one no one at home for him out of boat. And Wollonga now, they got loose players. And he could Alex he wanted to. Alexopoulos. He finds a player over there by him, loose to himself. And now it goes down into the centre square. And this is going to give the ball across there, 45 metres out from goal. And it's gone there to um, 26. Is Liam, Liam Nye. Nye. He's gone across over there to uh, Meagle. And Meagle. Meagle should be able to get this one. He's probably only about 35, maybe. 30, yeah, 35. Yeah, yeah probably kicked just inside the 40. In he goes, looking into the sun down there at the moment. Probably find hard to even see the goals. Yeah, he runs in that shadow there. You see right that. now. And there is a kick for goal and... Well, we'll under where they are, the good shots are gone. Alex 9 10, Gore Point 1 3, McLaren 10 6, Victor Harbour 6 points, Strath 5 7, Mount Compass 5 3. Well, Strath Albert are now 8 11, Mount Compass 7 7. Back in the centre it goes. Umpire Rice puts it all up, nobody gets it out, comes out there. Tyson Neil gets it now from Counter Bay, drives it away, goes off quickly, goes up the forward lines and takes it on his chest going back there is Gould, I reckon, Kupnut, that goes around onto there, is Lachlan Costello. He's popped up around everywhere for the bay, so he's been around, so... Lines up, he'll kick from there, it needs to kick this one, runs in, drives it out, hangs it out, drives it all up, hangs that one, hangs that one, no problems at all, umpire goes, looks at it, comes back, and goal. So... We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. I thought McLaren would do it comfortably, but uh, I was a bit of interest in the Strath McLaren, um, uh, Mount Compass one, because Mount Compass uh, got beaten by Victor last week, so mm. up in the centre she goes, Bass goes up, steps underneath at those, comes back out, hits the ground again, picked up there, goes out quickly there by Kruger for the bays, he drives off, puts it up forward, over the back, read it well out there, is 23 for the bays, which was Matthew. Matthew Kruger, brother. So, yeah, <laughs> so he goes across quickly and finds the, the player there on the chest in Mitchell Davis. Mitchell Davis hasn't kicked one yet. He normally pops up for one or two, doesn't he? So, mm. I can see they're missing Tarker down oh, there. Oh, yeah, you know, his jump is leaping. It's yeah. a bit like, you know, Hoffman at the other end, isn't he? Yeah. His experience and his pace and his, it gives him a headache. In comes the kick. The umpire's moving, though. He turns around and goes uh, too far, so he's missed. So in Counter Bay, go to six goals, three, Wollonga 11-8 on the FBA scoreboard. 
Mm, so you need they need the, the big blokes back in their team, don't they? Yeah. And anyway, they haven't got them, so yeah, it's not much good talking about what you haven't got, is it? No, that's for sure. As I said, Mason out, and then their full back went down with uh, COVID, so could have given more if it's <laughs> with this COVID stuff. Anyway, you? yeah, Williams. Anyway, well, I'm going now kick it down the far side of the ground out here looking for Haskett. Haskett has it filled it away from him across the boundary line and out of bounds. You can't feel it in here, but I reckon it'll be starting to cool down outside. Yeah, shadows are coming up, so a lot of the ground's getting in shade now, and it'll be quite chilly in under that. The yeah, jump umpire tosses it in on the far side of the ground, in front of the pack out there. Mulunga have got the numbers at the moment. I reckon that might have been Haskett. Haskett that kicks it further down. And it's good mark taken there in front of Stanfield by Bulldog. Bulldog. So Bulldog's got the ball. They need their him back in the side, but uh, almost a mark taken, and there uh, it wasn't a mark, wasn't paid, and the the umpire lets play go on down there, and uh, he let that one go as well because it was touched before it got to him. Across the line it goes, and out of bounds. So we got the moment out there. And got this game well and truly in their keeping you would think at the moment and Haskett's in ruck and he ball goes out for encounter bay and encounter bay can have a shot in here no the player can't get down far enough to take the mark comes out loose gets a hand pass away and pet it now he he has a go to get the ball into the forward line but he it's too low for the player run now. Oh, well, you're right. a yeah, you can't surely. Sooner or later, that get one. Yeah. They moved him, <laughs> swung him. Oh, he's given it away. Silly, silly play. Oh, God. So well, he goes over to Lee, Liam Nye, gets it, and he goes off, and he finds Three Colwell. times he got spun around. Yeah, and then the Bay player re re went back to him, and he had to come and give it off. That yeah. is dumb football. So it goes around, Wollonga now goes backwards again, turns around, he finds out, and he finds his player back there and Billy Cook. Billy Cook comes in, finds his player once again in Cameron McDonald. He's uh, had short a few kicking. Kicks, yeah, they're short kicking around here, it's uh, setting for him. Oh, oh, drops out there, I think it's Sammy. Sammy A gets rid of it, comes up here on the forward flank and goes off into Liam Nye's. Well, I think this Straight will be over. good night Meagle. again, won't it? Meagle will wait for someone to pick up, run into the space, hanging on his yeah. bass. Too much body, height was also there, and he turned around and quite easily stood up and, and finished up grabbing the mark. Once Bass gets in front, you can't move him. Yeah, yeah well, the player grabbed him because Bass was appealing for being held and uh, he hadn't moved. So, so Bass now rolls himself up. He's kicked yep, three. Ambrose Willoughby on him, and I think this is close yep. to Ambrose, Ambrose's first game, and straight through. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put all the uh, uh, plus up here for the uh, light on the set, that'll get it lighter too. Umpire throws the ball up in the centre of the ground again. A fly high, that's the Ruckman. Here's a chance now for Kruger. Kruger, Kruger gets it out. Tell you what, they haven't disgraced themselves no. today either, the Krugers out there. Picked up there by that number 11 in um, Counter Bay, that was in Mitchell Davis. Alexopoulos, yeah. he's there. Yeah. Took a long time to blow the whistle when you got him for incorrect disposal or holding it. And away go Wollongo with Big. it now. Hoffman. Hoffman's just standing in the centre, in the centre circle he'll kick this from. And you can't stop him out there. A decent kick out of here will put it down to those big blokes standing there in the forward well, It's line. after the siren, so that's why they've done it. There's oh. no way in the world he's going to get it. So, yeah, the siren are gone because all the other players had stopped and gone out. So, that's three-quarter time here at the Encounter Bay Oval. Wollonga have got this one fairly comfortable done out. They lead 12 goals, 8 to Encounter Bay, 6 goals, 3. 
So now goal kickers quickly. I'll goal go kickers. Here. Daniel Bass for has four. Uh, Jake Stanfield one. Brad Haskett one. Miles Warmington one. Uh, Brett Meagle one. Liam Nye one. And Ryan Sherry with three. That's for Wollonga. In Counter Bay, uh, we have two to Bradley Kruger, and then the rest are Cohen Pettit, Tyson Neal, Wade Sweetman, and Lachlan Costello. Mm. So, well, the, the Bays haven't disgraced themselves. I would have thought the way they started off today, they could be, be looking something like about 18 or 19 goals at the moment. Yeah, yeah. No, they've fought back and done well into it. So this is 90.1 Happy FM is Great Southern Footy on air and YouTube. We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. The Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. The dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Enjoy. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, one of the best beer gardens on the south coast. There's traditional pub style accommodation available and a drive through sip and save outlet. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power, great service, it keeps you coming back. Get the power, Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies have over 40 years experience in mining and blending soils and organics. We're specialists in turf soils, landscaping and organic blends. Customised washed sands for horse arenas, sports grounds and building sands. We also have a large range of decorative stones, gravels, mulches and pine barks. From car trailers to all truckloads, wholesale quarry direct. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies, 86 Sandmine Road, Mount Compass. Open Monday to Friday, 7am to 4pm at Saturday 7am to 11am. Phone 8556-8421. And we're just waiting for Thank you very much, Ian. We are waiting here for Wollonga to come back through and do everything, and then we'll get underway here for the last quarter. So, in here at this stage, we have Wollonga fairly comfortable going on to here, so they're quickly getting back. We'll run through. We had three quarter time scores Langhorne Creek 11 11, Yanklilla 4 4, Myponga Selix 19 12, Goolwa. Port Elliot 2 3, uh, McLaren 15 7, Victor Harbour 1 7, 
Strathalbyn 8, 11, Mount Compass 7, 7. So a couple of games we thought would go that way. Umpire Rice holds the ball aloft. We're underway here for the last quarter. Bass goes up for Wollonga, gets it down. Lippert gets it back in, but he handballs back to a nest of Wollonga players. Bass kicks it off the ground, goes out there. Kruger can't get it from Counter Bay. Lippert's back in under there, as you would always expect, in and under. Flatten his back on the ground. Up they come. Umpire Rice has got it. Just forward of the flank. Bays go up. Bass gets it down. Comes out. Counter Bay. Break away. Gets up into it. Handball's over. Comes over to Tyson Neal. Tyson Neal looks forward. Kicks it forward. Goes over too far to the head. Goes out the back. The Bays need to pick it up. Turns around. Picked up beautifully there by the Bays. He goes through. He'll go for holding it. No problems at all. Tried to break through. Can't do that. That's Lachlan Costello. Mm. So, you will be a bit bigger to break through those yeah. size people. Yeah, Wollonga with it now. Turn around, they go back quickly in Maddock Williams. Williams kicks this ball up the club room side, up the wing, goes straight onto the chest of Kruger. That's Bradley Kruger. He's played a, quite a good game, that lad. So yeah. goes back in, comes in, he finds his player into there. And I reckon that one there would have been Mitchell Davis. Oh, oh that's a bad kick. Terrible oh, No, it wasn't Mitchell Davis. I cut the ball because Mitchell Davis has got it yeah. now. Goes around on it. Another poor kick. Big Allen can't get it. Gets onto this boot oh. there. Snaps out there and goes too far, too wide. And goes in for a, a free kick to Wollonga in the back pocket. Yeah, that snap was probably about 25 metres off. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It's off the right boot too, mm. so... Big Allen goes into pocket. Wollonga brings it out, comes out there and finds his player out there in Oliver Pasillo. He's in the back pocket for Wollonga. Twirls it around, looks inside, steps in, kicks in just over the man on the mark. Up they go. Turns around in front of the base, comes off quickly, goes around over there to uh, Scott. Darcy Scott, he's played a good game for him. Comes off to Meagle. Meagle goes, kicks it out wide for Wollonga. Goes over, straight in front of there. And out comes Haskett. Haskett takes it in front of his nose, turns around, rolls up. This is game 332 or something, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, he's just clocking them up now. You don't get anything more for it, that's the only trouble. No, you don't. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway. It's not like Barry Clark wanted to come in every year and they, my Ponga wanted to give him something for breaking the record. <laughs> anyway, Haskell comes in. got a long way to break get Barry Clark's record. Drives this ball up, hangs it, hangs it. The umpire's moving now, though. He goes over there and he looks at it now and Haskett goes through for a minor score. He's kicked one goal, two. They go to 12 goals, nine on the FBA scoreboard and counter by... 6-3. Kicks it out there in counter bay player. Marks it on the far side. Oh, he's going to kick it back. He's got to kick this one right or he's in big trouble. But he does. And Bulldog. that's Bulldog that runs down the ground with it. Kicks it in short. Goes down there. Counter bay player tries cool. to pick it up. He was almost grabbed hold of it. Another one was too high. almost grabbed hold too high. In fact, he was grabbed too high. Don't go back and do your block, mate, or you're going to lose, him. lose it again. And Costello's got it. Costello's got it. Kicks it further down the ground. Off hands it goes. Two counter bay players spoiled each other then. And there's a hand pass gone out. Gone Good out here to encounter bay to Matt Kruger. Kruger tried to do something with it. Almost marked at the back of the pack. Picked up this time by Wollonga. They've got that many players there. They had to push themselves to get, it, get out the way. And uh, finally it comes out loose. There was that many... Longer players around there, they didn't know who wanted it. And Took the ball now off, is over he? near the... Hanging on to him. Yep, free kick. Over near the boundary line. And Mitchell Davis. Mitchell Davis has got it again. Mitchell Davis kicks it in short, finds his teammate over there. Pettit. And Pettit's got it. They're kicking now down towards the netball court end. And Pettit kicks it down. And there's a good mark being taken out Kruger. there. And Kruger's got another mark, and he might be a permanent. He's fixed it in the He warrants getting uh, extra go in it, doesn't he? He does, yeah. So perhaps they might he's come and sign him up, seeing he's, he's a brother of the other one. Yeah. He's a bit thin, though, isn't he? He's, no, at the you know, moment. He's going to have a lot of thin. work on him for uh, to get as high as yeah, that. Yeah, but still, you never know. He, his brother's a, a fair sort of That's, lump of a Oh, he just narrowed it. Look good. And that is a one point only. To Encounter Bay, they go to six goal four now, and Wollonga twelve goals nine in our FPA scoreboard. Wollonga with the ball, 
and the back lines brings it out, comes out the scoreboard side, almost up to the centre, goes yeah. over. Bulldog will sit on this one, yeah. goes up over the back, picked up beautifully, handballs over the top. Over it goes around there to, quickly over there to Gamble. Gamble goes forward and that's a good one, Tyson Neal. When he reads it and he gets that free side jump, he's certainly good, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, well, I mean, that's like Tarkin now. I mean, Tarkin's been training with the with the top yeah. top players when he was with Geelong. And, but when they go for the mark, they mark it. I mean, it's what people say about Gibbs. I mean, every time Gibbs went for the mark, he marked it. Yeah, yeah. it's reading the flight and where mm. it's going to be and getting there just at that right time. And yeah, you know, Tarker, he's, uh, you know, he's a live wire too, so in comes Tyson Neal, he goes, he hangs, umpire comes up, runs all up, runs in the middle and says, a goal. We all know there's nothing better than a good night's sleep. And for a better night's sleep, think Sealy, Sleep Haven, Sleep Maker and Adriatic Slumber from Dreamland Victor Harbour. Over many years, Mary and her team have helped solve many sleep problems. They also offer delivery and old mattress removal in the Victor Harbour area. Conditions apply. Dreamland Victor Harbour, open weekdays and Saturdays till 1 for linen, home decor wear and all SA made bedding. Dreamland, 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. I think well, you know, like, but uh, they've they've made a game of it three quarters now, and um, yep, so yeah, good signs. And like I said, and if you looked at the premiership table, you know, like the two two to five is going to be pretty close with all of them, isn't it? Yeah, umpire throws it up in the centre, up it goes, knocked down there by Big Bass, picked up by uh, Payer there in Lachlan Scott, he kicks it down to the forward line. Comes out and the free kick for hanging on when he didn't have it or high. Doing counter bay and that's going to go out and it's out in the wing, but they've got oh, to get he's scores. Kicked it out and, in the fall. and he's kicked it straight out on the fall. I mean, how to, how to waste a, a kick was that? It never looked like going in, did it? Nah. And the free kick goes to Oliver Facillo. Look at this. Oh, big Ruckman dropped it, Bass. Goes up. He recovered though, he had that much time into it. And there's another kick. Goes up forward, up long, goes out, off hands, over the boundary line, in front of Big Jake Stanfield and... Uh, <laughs> forward of the wing in the Wilunga's advantage. The forward zone. The set comes in, goes up, goes back down. Bass gets it, thumps it forward into it, comes back out, the goes. Turns around, picked up there by Wilunga, goes Zuckers. forward, mm. turns around, kicked off. Out comes Sherry. Sherry goes back. He backs around. He gets caught. Should go for holding the ball. Ducks in underneath. Goes onto it. Didn't make an attempt and is holding the ball. Bulldog gets up for encounter bay. So Bulldog right deep in the back pocket. He's looking across the goals. Danger. You've got to hit tables. Hit oh, tables oh, out here. Yeah, Runs across do, yeah, now. Look, perhaps he might want to kick it through himself. Goes back out there, but he found his player. And there's a, a forearm kick. going across the, <laughs> the body there from Hoffman. And Hoffman stands up and then thumps into the player, Bay player running past. Up she goes onto the wing. I reckon we've got an FAD advantage played here. Turns around, goes off. Counter Bay don't know what to do mm. with it. They turn around, they've got nothing set up in here. They go off, the handball goes inside, out wide, off hands, and turn around. And that's a bad mistake by Matthew Allen then. Turns around, goes off, kick comes back out there. Counter Bay can't get into it. Haskett gets it all up, stripped off of it, comes over. The Bays get it. Back in. Don't amble to the Ruckman. He swings around, <laughs> kicks it, and turns around off the chest of the Bay player. Meagle recovers. Colwell gets it for Wollonga. Drives this ball up now. Goes back around. Hoffman gets it. He oh, was, where did he punch out? That looked like it was close to a throw, didn't <laughs> yeah. it, from where we were. We can so only see the back of One it, back, yeah. <laughs> we only saw one arm move. Goes up there, and Sherry drops the mark. Play on goes. Wollonga goes up in the forward pocket, goes out there, counter bay, try to get onto it, on the ground, picked up there by Crisman, he can't get to it, turns around there, wrapped up onto there is Patrick McInerney, and the Wollonga get the bounce on the uh, new little line there to keep clear for uh, about 20 metres, isn't it? So, yeah, what well, that's for. Goes up, yeah, yeah. that's the one you've got to keep clear of, goes yeah. up, comes around onto there to Wollonga in Braden Aldous, he misses. And a minor score on the FBA scoreboard. Well, under 12 10 to the Eagles in Counter Bay 7 4. Yes, well, it's going to uh, go to the inevitable conclusion at the yep. moment. Two, two premiership points here for Wollonga. We got it two last week as well. So, 
They're doing okay at the moment. They've only lost one game. I think it's only one game. Do you? Yep. And Calabay will bring the ball back in. He's waving to him to go there. Oh, and he's where's the side he of his it, boot. Kicked it straight out of and bounds. The on the form too. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to make sure it comes back quick, isn't yep. it? Yep. Yeah. And, and um, Darcy Scott's got hold of the he ball. balanced that. He juggled that over the line. Boundary umpire mm. missed that one. It come clearly out of his hands, and when he finished landing, he was he grabbed it. He was over the line. Anyway, the Scott's got hold of it there, and it's missed it by a mile. And the mark has been taken down there by the base. Tonkin, Tonkin's got it. Amy Tonkin. That's in the There's back. a little bit in the back down there by five, and that is <laughs> who's got hold of that one? Don't know at the, the moment. The umpire now. Yeah, the umpire. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that, that was number 19 there for in, in Counter Bay in um, James Brown that had it and pushed it across the line and plays allowed to go on and this is going to go out of bounds again. The umpire will come in and throw it in. I think there'll be a few players out there pleased to hear the siren today but uh, it will... It's still a while ago, they've been running late here. 38. Um, Umpire goes up, puts it all in, quickly snapped out there and kicked away by the bays. Goes forward, there's a whistle and it's going to encounter bays, so it must be an infringement behind play. Yep. Finally throws it back to the player in the back flank. 11 minutes this quarter's been going. Yeah, thought there'd still be plenty out yeah. of it. Goes up, up on the wing it goes. Over the top, Tyson Neal gets one, gets around the ear, gets it over, handball over it, kicks forward, over the back it goes. Counter Bay gets Sweetman. wrapped up as he got it. <laughs> Sweetman didn't really have it, but he turned around, gets up, and the umpire comes in for a ball up. In the forward pocket area for Encounter Bay. Up they go, Tyson Neal goes, gets it again, handballs out, the player was standing still, sidesteps through, did well, kicks up and under, then gets shoved in the back, turns around, goes off, over onto it, overhands, goes offhand, through for a rush point to Encounter Bay. They increase their score now to 7-5 to Wollonga, 12-10 on the FBX scoreboard. And Wollonga don't waste any time playing on. Down the ground it goes, almost a mark taken at the back of the pack then to Encounter Bay. He had the ball well, pushed over. He'll go for the ball. Well, he shouldn't. He, he the balled ball, it into us. The, yeah, number twenty pulled the ball into him. That was um, yeah. uh, John Cole. Yeah, it's probably hard. The umpires at the other side, yeah, so yeah, we couldn't see him, it dragged back in. We just drag it in by the by the opposition then. And anyway, from the throw on the ball is pushed across the line and out of bounds. The umpire's got hold of it. Been a lot of time looking around to see where he's going to throw yeah, it. Make sure he's getting the clearance now. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, oh, almost well done by the Wollonga player trying to run through there. And Marcus Lippert's got hold of it. They've got hold of him. <laughs> and he gives it back. How many times has that happened today? <laughs> the boy throws it up again. Up it goes. Down it goes. Haskett gets it down. Picked up. Well picked up down there by the player from Wollonga. Then Isaac Logan. And the ball goes further down the ground now. Sherry. And Sherry. That should be played. He's running around his yeah. mile. Oh. He's running around a mile. He was almost picked up then by the player there. And <laughs> that was a throw, but it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> he went to punch it. It just fell off the end of his hand. And the It should be a 52 because the Wollonga player kicked it away. Then Jake Stanford went to pick it up and then just walked away from it. Well, no one knows who it's for, though. Yeah, Tonkin was the one yeah. that was dragged out of it. Anyway, Tonkin now kicks the ball up high. Up it goes. Off hands it goes. Over the top it. Pettit. Here's a chance for Pettit. Now to get the ball oh, further down work. the ground. Goes Pitt. down there from Tyson Neal. He has a long shot in, but it's only worth a point. And that is seven goals, six to Encounter Bay. Twelve goals, ten to Wollonga. Quickly kicked in, Malunga finds his player on the back flank there. That one goes out to Danny Jukas. Jukas goes over to Alexopoulos. Alexopoulos for Malunga drives it off up the forward flank. Turns around, Sherry can't get it. Bay's recovered, but Sherry puts his hand in it. Turns around, gets up, rolls down. Head was over the ball. Turn around, he's supposed to protect him, but uh, didn't. He was always down when he ran in, and Sherry stood there front on, and uh, by Rice missed that one. Forward flank there for Malunga. Club room side, up they go. 
Bays come over the top, smacked it forward again, comes out there, tries to get around there. It's Patrick McInerney. The Bays get it out. Crispin gets it. He gets tackled, picked up quickly there he by the counter bay. He'll go for it. It'll be holding the ball and it'll be a free kick to Wollonga. Watch out, they don't get a couple of quick so, goals here and make it look a lot worse. It could be Jukers. Puts the ball up though, go up there. Bulldog gets up, puts his smashes over, up. straight onto there, into the hands of the Wollonga player, and Lachlan Scott. The Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. The dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Enjoy. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, one of the best beer gardens on the south coast. There's traditional pub style accommodation available and a drive through sip and save outlet. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. At least scoreless or get you know six or seven goals. It's very, That's all I've had to do, isn't it? Very hard to get back and to actually just get in front. Just done enough to keep in front. Yep, yep. Every goal you kick, you know, like I said, you've got to kick two to one. Well, pretty hard to do when a side dominates and controls it so much. This ball is going to finish fairly yeah. late, I would think. Oh, I would think so. A couple of times the balls are taking a while to get brought back. Yeah, yeah. We've only been one game that we've actually been. Uh, Finished early, didn't we? Yeah. That was last week. That's 13 and 3. 16 minutes gone in this quarter, so it's probably got to be another 8 minutes to go. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, well, we might get final scores from around the other grounds, but it doesn't look like there's going to be too many upsets in there. No, no I don't think so. Back in the centre. Up they go. Goes up there. Kruger gets it for the base. Comes out. Wollonga try to get it. Lippert's in there. Can't get it. And umpire Price will come in and. Uh, Ball, uh, ball it up once again. Comes in, goes up, set themselves. Haskett goes, can't get it. Goes out to Kruger, comes her over Hoffman. Hoffman for Wollonga puts it forward. Over the back they go, kicked off by Crispin. That's going to go over, untouched. And they don't even, oh yeah, he's picked it up, Hoffman. Turns around, slips over, goes down, close to the boundary line, goes off, steps off, comes over the foots. And it's a, a ball in right in front of the barbecue hut over wing position and probably inside. Down the umpire's got it, and the reason puts it all up. So he applies his tried his trade well. Goes out, counter bay gets it, handball's back in. Tyson Neal gets it quickly with a handball. Can't get it out there. Mitchell gets up there, turns around, smack down into it, picks it up, the bays pick it up in tip. Lippert, Lippert goes out, comes around quickly, Tonkin gets the ball forward, comes out, Wollonga sitting in this, he gets called out, in comes Davis, Mitchell Davis still pushing the ball around, goes out under there, kicks this ball up and under, and goes off into it and up the forward lines, out they come, repelling it's Wollonga, Haskett goes off, finds himself around over there quickly in his player there in Williams, off hands, comes over the flank, beautiful body work by the Bays, puts it all up, Goes back again. McInerney, that Bulldog was. gets the ball. Goes forward. Over the top, off hands. Turns around. Inside, he's got him. Running off. Can he handle and trap it? He can't. It's Brown, I think, isn't it? Goes off. Turns. Beautiful spins. Comes back in. Goes back around. Okay, he's got Umpire it. looks at this one. He runs back in the centre. And he turns around and says... Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 170A Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. been uh, moving around, has not he? I've so, only had five goals more scored. Yeah. It's all a bit more than that behind, but... Uh, Free kick. Yeah. Must be, yeah. Has to come into the square, I think. Yep. Anyway, the ball now goes down to centre-half forward area for Encounter Bay. If they can get it out, they can. And their player grabbed, he just went to... <laughs> as he went to, to do something with it, then they got pulled out the other way, coming in against the, the clow there was uh, pick, pit at hip at, uh, yeah, uh, Cullen. Lachlan Scott's on the yeah. chest now. Yeah, and it's, here's a chance Sherry. now for Sherry. Or, He's going to look for someone. Or, um, Malunga. He's kicked it in and I think they're quite prepared to give a point away there. 
And that's another point to Wollongo. They go to 13-11 to eight goals. Six by Encounter Bay on the FBA scoreboard. Muldock with the ball for the Bays, comes in straight up the centre, kicks it around the side, goes up there, oh, over yeah. the back of Tonkin, he normally doesn't miss them, Meagle picks it all up for Wollonga, kicks it all in, goes over to Haskett, Haskett goes out wider, picks it all up, finds his player out wide out there, and that one goes around to Williams, Williams handballs, goes off, goes across, up the forward lines, knocked away from Bass, yeah, turns around, one. picks up big Jakey Stanfield, gets it, rolls it all over, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was a few little shots, but then the others have steadied their feet up and a couple of round onto it. So as the ball still comes back to the centre, so we're still waiting a while onto here and comes back to uh, umpire Nick Price. And Nick Price says under way there. You don't see the other umpires have too much, or they've both got hats on there. No, <laughs> no, no, they haven't. No, right, he hasn't. He's got anyway, the umpire throws the ball up in the centre. Up it goes, push down. Coming out there, there's well done by Walunga with Brett and Meagle getting it across there. Down it goes on the ground. Counter Bay pick it up, try to get it out. And I think they might have paid that a throw, yeah. they? Or Lucky we don't have dissension rule here. Yeah, if they have the dissension <laughs> rule, there'd be no one left. <laughs> there'd be lots of kicks going Eddie, down the ground. Eddie. He's got to fit 25 metre anyway. Because I don't think umpire Rice was one, one was really two. liking the mouth that was moving too no, much. I don't know why you bothered to do that if you were longer. You're, you're doing okay as it is, and uh, all you're doing now is starting to throw a few free kicks away, which is not doing any good. McInerney again. I don't know where they picked him up from, but uh, he's a reasonable sort of player out there, and he's got the ball now, almost on the half forward line. Kicks it in, and he's got someone under it. Tyson Neal was under it then, he just had the it, chest, didn't he? bounced off. Oh, throw over the back, but he says he handled it. And the counter bay now, I've got the ball. Oh, that's got to be in the back. I think it is in the back, says the umpire, in the back there. And Danny Duke has gave that one away. And yeah. Cohen, Cohen Pettit. Pettit again. Yep. And Cohen Pettit is too far out to damage the scoreboard much here, I would think. Yeah, he's kicked one. Yeah, but. This one's a fair way out. It's got to kick at 60 metres, Drew. He's back on the cricket pitch at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> at 70 metres, 80 metres. Anyway, he runs on the 50 metre line there, and he, as he goes... He's given a good it, fair oh, way. Guess what, mate? He has. Yeah. He's a good <laughs> kick. Curse, curse. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sales options and we also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag. With five fully stocked branches across the Florio, we're in your field. At the distance, but he, he got it. I easy. think all the players were hanging around the wrong post. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I reckon they could have put a hand up and touched it. Yep. So, anyway, umpire Rice back with the ball here now. Up she goes in the centre. Up they go and turn around. Goes out there through the base. Brown gets wrapped up and turns around. It'll be a repeat ball up by the umpire. Comes back in again. Kruger goes up, it's done all right, pushes all over, gets up and down, comes back into it, it's all right, goes onto it, finishes up, turns around, hang on to there the base, in under Crispin goes, turns around, comes out, Pettit gets it, the last goal, come. Crispin gets it, off he goes, turns around, and just gets caught in the leg as he goes, handball goes out but too slow and late, out it comes here to um, Fife, Fife gets it wrapped up, goes, stacks on the mills here, and he turns around and be a ball up by the umpire. Still just in the centre circle here, up she goes, 
gets out there by Haskett, I reckon it was, turns around, picked it all up there quickly by Wollonga. He turns, he spins around, he gets thrown down, puts around there and slam dunk and he gets a free kick coming back. Not paying advantage, shouldn't have done it there. If he was on the sling tackle, shouldn't pay the advantage. So anyway, kicks up there now. Jakey Stanfield goes in, picks all up. Over the top goes Sherry, he messes it, kicks off the ground by Encounter Bay. Picked all up. Bulldog gets it, handballs it off, finds his player in Van Moulin, goes over, pushes all up on the wing, goes up, over the back it comes, Bays at the back, Mitchell can't get to it, out the running through, comes up the Bays, handballs oh, well, through well. quickly, picks up through there, the Bays oh. go off there and that's a wild kick out there by Lachlan Costello and she goes out in the full in the back pocket. Someone should have told him he was there by oh, himself. He was, you could <laughs> see, you know, like, yeah, that yeah. was just a terrible yeah. drop and run kick, that one. Just drop. Run, kick, no. <laughs> anyway, the ball kicked back well. Back straight out by the... Marked by the boundary umpire. Yeah. Does he get a, <laughs> he get he a whistle a, for he, that? He gets a, th a throw back to the Bay player. <laughs> turn around, goes on. Turn around, picked up there. Allen gets tackled. Up comes here, Tyson. Tyson gets around on his left foot, slings it all over. Tyson Neal gets it up. Umpire says, goal. The Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere. The dining room is open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, offering great food specials and friendly service. Enjoy. Why not wind down with friends and enjoy a drink in our superb beer garden, one of the best beer gardens on the south coast. There's traditional pub style accommodation available and a drive through sip and save outlet. The Royal Family Hotel, 32 North Terrace, Port Elliot. I haven't got as much interest in it yeah. as I had earlier, I would yeah, think. It's, it's the way to go, isn't it? Like, yeah. you know, it's, you take not your gonna, foot off the pedal, well, isn't it? Well, yeah, you, it's long, you, you can't lose, but you, it's just sort of, yeah, just taking it easy on it. Up they go again, comes back down to base, they can't get over it to there. Strangs in onto it, he can't get it out through there. And that one there was James Brown. Comes out quickly, picked up by Wollonga. Handball goes out by Darcy Scott, goes backwards. Goes up forward and turn around, bounces on the oh. chest and he misses again. Crispin picks it up though, recovers, goes up, over the top here, goes out. Wollonga come charging through from the back and that one goes Pasillo. Pasillo goes up, up too high, up and down they come and he pulls down the mark and Lachlan Scott. Scott goes short, goes inside and he finds big Jake Stanfield. Jake Stanfield, well, look at him coming around. around. He's coming Pulled around. Him on. Come on. You can see it from here. The yeah. umpire's come in and lines up and he's walked around and around and around. So. He'll be in front of goals if he keeps doing yeah. that. So, big Jake Stanfield lines up. So he kicked two. He's yep, kicked the two in the third and the fourth. So, lines up for his third. Drives up, kicks the ball, hangs it. Umpire's looking. Look he's done that. He's too. turned he's around happy. Through. Umpire grabs the ball, marks, looks for the boundary. Yeah. Umpire, don't worry about the score. Come back in. He's, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, give the score rather than try and mark. <laughs> Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies have over 40 years experience in mining and blending soils and organics. We're specialists in turf soils, landscaping and organic blends. Customised washed sands for horse arenas, sports grounds and building sands. We also have a large range of decorative stones, gravels, mulches and pine barks. From car trailers to all truckloads, wholesale quarry direct. Mount Compass Quarry and Landscape Supplies, 86 Sandmine Road, Mount Compass. Open Monday to Friday, 7am to 4pm at Saturday 7am to 11am. Phone 8556 Yeah. And the umpire's got hold of it and he throws it up. Up it goes in the centre. Off hands it goes. Now, down on the ground it goes. And there's a bit of a lazy <laughs> truce with the ball. <laughs> Picks it up, throws it back to the umpire. He says, OK, thank you. And I reckon that might have been the... Is it the siren? Yep, yes, it is. they're all They're coming in. Hands. Yep, so, yep. The final siren has gone. We can't hear it over here. No. Uh, 56. And that was um, 29 minutes that quarter. So, so in, in the end, the final scores, we think. 15-11 to Wollonga, 10 goals, 6 to Encounter Bay. So basically a six goal lead, which is what the first quarter was, wasn't it? So. So hopefully we'll get some scores around, so the last quarter here, but I will run through the goal scorers here for both sides. For Encounter Bay, we have Tyson Neal with three, two to Cohen Pettit and Bradley Kruger, 
singles to Lachlan Costello, um, Wade Sweetman and James Brown. And for the Victoria side of Willunga, we have Daniel Bass with four, uh, Jake Stanford with three, uh, Ryan Sherry with three, and then we have singles to Lachlan Scott, Liam Nye, Brett Meagle, Miles Warmington, and that is it. So that gives us a total of 10 6 in Counter Bay, 15 11 Wollonga Kevin. So, yes, so we're waiting on the scores. I don't think they'll be too far away now because it will, you'd think this had been the last game finished. Yeah, well, they were sort of ahead of us. So. has been a presentation from Victor Harbour's 90.1 Happy FM.